be both fighting and flying type. Who, how Lucha? Yeah, it was really Dude, weird. Dude, he's a fucking luchador hawk. It's fucking awesome. No, no, I mean a move. Flying press is both fighting and flying. Oh, yeah. Um, well, like, some of the other moves could be like that, too. Like what ones? Like, um, oh, what was I? I? I was just... I was just playing last Pokemon last night, and there was a move... I don't remember. Eric, you're better at this than me. Ooh, Eric's got a number on. Yeah, I like it. So, wait, what? what's the score right now? Um, he's down. That's his last Pokemon, and I just lost my first one. Um, oh, so I think it's almost time to start and say, Welcome to the podcast! We Yay! Did. We did it when we were playing Pokemon. My hot Halucha or whatever has one health left, is poisoned. <laughs> so you're pretty fucked then. I'm very fucked. I made a wish. <laughs> you sure did. <laughs> er Eric and Preston right now are battling each other uh, on Pokemon X and Y, I believe. Uh huh. And uh, Eric just owned Preston pretty hard because Preston does not know the the types for the new Pokemon. <laughs> That's the sound of me losing. <laughs> Sorry, Preston. I love you. We're now wait. We're three and zero now. Oh shit. <laughs> so um, yeah. Yeah, Eric that, that was kind of embarrassing. Eric but it was a good way to, to open the podcast with Preston's humiliating defeat. To be uh. fair, to be fair, I cheat because I, I use Pokemon Bank to drag my Pokemon to my Pokemon X, where I have all the TMs I can teach them. Oh, okay, okay. So that's why I'm better, because I cheat. Yeah. Yeah, you cheating son of a bitch. <laughs> hacks, I call hacks. I'm sorry, Preston, I yeah. love you. Well, I get next game after this podcast. Okay. All right, guys, well, welcome to episode... Four? Episode four of the four. podcast, yeah, oh, oh, almost to five. <laughs> it's almost, it's almost five years we're, old, guys. We're not gonna make it at five. This we're is the not last gonna ever. make it. Dude, no, don't. We're, we're gonna, gonna, gonna make, make it. Do not jinx us, though, man. Okay, I would right. like to continue this. Um, so yeah, no. hey, uh, if anybody out there has been listening and following with us, thank you very much. We love you, and to everybody else. The fuck is wrong with you, man? The fuck is wrong with you, man? <laughs> no, we, seriously, we love you all. We, yeah, we're you almost at a hundred likes, are. especially you, Patrick, and Carrie. But Patrick was first. Most Carrie, Patrick. Carrie was technically first, actually. I talked really? to her, and she's like, "Yeah, like the second that she got the like, she uh, she subscribed to the YouTube thing and everything." But when, but on Twitter, Preston was the or Pre well, or, she well, didn't, she didn't, she didn't have a Twitter, so she actually just made so one. So she doesn't to, count. Oh, no, no, she just she just made one to follow us. We don't so. like you, Carrie. I'm kidding. Well, you know what? You shouldn't say that because we may have a special guest next week. Is it Patrick? Patrick? <laughs> no. <laughs> well, well, we'll we'll keep you guys uh, informed on what's going on there. But uh, let's uh, let's go start off. How's it been going, guys? What's up? What's well, up? What's up? Well, one of you street passed me already. I don't know how this works. Are you not on? You're on. What on my DS? Yeah. What oh, are you waiting? for? I actually for don't know. Pass? I mean, street I pass. It just like it's supposed to light up. What do you? It it lights up that thing right there the yeah. green means that you got a street pass well i dude i don't know i don't really play my ds too much uh, yeah man, yeah I, I want street pass people it's very upsetting I'm preston, <laughs> preston just got the 3ds uh 3ds xl and now he's like pokemon everywhere like he's yeah he's whoring himself out like some like some ds whore i got it uh you, you guys go back to your home on whore island if you remember last podcast, I had just gotten it. I have already logged like 22 hours on Pokemon. And he still sucks. My girlfriend is <laughs> not happy with that. <laughs> Whatever, that gives her more time for GTA 5, right? Well, that's what I was about to say. It's like, Preston, get off Pokemon and play GTA 5. No, she's been playing Oblivion. Oh, really? Oh, oh cool. I just, really? Taught, I just taught her the Shadow Mare trick. Uh -huh. you, you know the Shadow Mare glitch uh -huh. in Oblivion where you get this super special horse at the end of... That's in um, Oblivion. I mean, that's in Skyrim, too. It's in Oblivion, yeah. I mean, no, it's in Skyrim also. Yeah, you yeah. get um the, in the uh, DLC, the one with the vampire one, you can get like a skeletal horse that you can summon. But no, you get, you get yeah. Shadow Mirror at the end of the Dark Brotherhood. Or yeah, no, it's, in the it's the end of the Dark Brotherhood. Oh, well, you know, that, there's the thing. I just fucking destroyed the Dark Brotherhood. Yeah, I, thought, you, I thought that would be more fun just to go and fuck them all up. But you get this awesome horse. You, you oh, get the horse, like, and there's the a glitch. Lot. I, I it, have an undead horse that I can summon whenever. Why do I need another horse? If, <laughs> let, let me, no, no, bleh, 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 bleh. But if you get, um, if you get Shadow Mirror. If you kill Shadowmere, you can loot the corpse or whatever, but it always comes back to life. So you could use Shadowmere as a bank, as like a store, like oh. initial storage. I tried teaching this to um, my girlfriend last night, and she was not happy. She refused <laughs> to murder her horse. <laughs> it took 20 minutes of convincing. Okay, wait, wait. How do you, because in Skyrim, killing Shadowmere is so hard. Like, you can't beat it to death because it's, it's health regenerates. The, I found the only way to kill, kill Shadowmere in Skyrim is you have to jump off a high fucking mountain and kill it that way. Like, or you could Fuzro Dodd off the mountain. 
Or you can hurt your, or you can do that, but that's less fun. That's less fun. Mm. But so for for Skyrim, I use Shadow Mirror as a way to like train up like my my destruction spells and my one handed because I just keep hitting it over and over. <laughs> oh yeah, and it, keeps and, 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 I and it can't uh, go aggro on you. No, it can't. It will it will never like go and fight you. So you can just keep going and going. Uh, that's the cheap way to play, but that's how I do things. <laughs> yeah. Wait, 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 real quick. Well, like, what what kind of a uh, what kind of a fight? What kind of a fighter were you? Oh, in Skyrim, I was a uh, a dark elf. Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, um, I mean, I mean, like, like, what did you specialize in? Because, oh, like, because, yeah. like, I initially started off with like, you know, um, you know, dual wielding swords, but then I switched to kind of um, like more mage like properties using my hands and shit. And then I switched to archery because I got really fucking good at Dude, archery. Thief, like <laughs> thieves, like, like, like doing archery and doing like backstabs is the funnest I've ever played Skyrim. Yeah, like it's like super like stealth. Yeah, yeah. Like, the, like I, I used to just love like from fucking half across the map with a fucking bow and arrow just shooting the guy in the head and I'm going what and then he turns around and I shoot him in the face I love that I love that like like that NPC response where you shoot him in the head with an arrow it's like what, what? who's there and then like y- your sneak <laughs> he's so long he like loses attention like oh it must have been the wind yep, or yep. something <laughs> yeah well, there's the so many comics like arrow that with an arrow sticking out of his temple <laughs> exactly nope yeah must have been the wind Skyrim logic yeah I like Skyrim. <laughs> well we can go more into that why don't we just start off with uh you know what's up uh Preston, you've kind of been explaining, so why don't you keep rolling with your, uh, how, how have your, has your week been? Yeah, um, I'm a little bit more awake today. Um, I, my, my week's been fine. Um, actually, yesterday I worked on um, a video shoot for Brick.com. Cool. Um, oh, yeah, that's yeah. fucking legit, dude. And I visited their corporate offices and all that, so that, that was a really, that's really a, cool time. That's uh, Screen Junkies, yeah? Yeah, 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 yeah Screen yeah, Junkies. Actually, awesome. um, I have a picture. I just took pictures of uh, the Screen Junkie set. Like, we were just shooting right next to it. Like, it was just there. Oh, like, all... no one was paying attention. Dude. With all the toys there and everything. Yeah. Oh, that's like, so I was cool. afraid I was going to bump into it with the C-stand <laughs> or something and crash it. But, no, I mean, it was a good time. Um, I don't, you know, just to be safe, I'm not going to say exactly what I shot. But when it comes out, I'll I'll throw it out on here. I'll and definitely I, link it and stuff. It's how'd, super funny. How did you get the job working for break? Um, a friend of a friend of a friend of a friend. Nice. That's usually how these jobs yeah, are done. Yeah, that's, seriously. That's the industry, man. Oh, I'm mm-hmm. sweet cheese. I love cheese. Mm-hmm. <laughs> but other than that, um, life's been fine. A lot of Pokemon. Um, yeah. Eric. Well, speaking of jobs, the job that Preston helped me get, I start. I got, and I started it. Woo! Congratulations! Thank you. Yay. Today's my third day, so I'm gonna go in, and I'm uh, yeah, I'm already editing. I got an episode already edited that my boss passed on. I just gotta show it to his boss, like like the CEO. Well, you know, Greg and Christos. So I gotta mm-hmm. show it to them. Yeah. Uh, and once they pass off on it, then it will be uploaded this week. Sweet man. Anything else besides the job? Uh, um, playing any games or just? Uh... I've been. I have had no times with school and then working on my senior thesis and this job. I have had very little time for even Pokemon. So, I yeah. I've just How? Been... <laughs> How is that possible? Pokemon is life. Pokemon is love. <laughs> Preston, you have like one class. <laughs> well, that's why I can spend all this time on Pokemon. Exactly. So... <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I know. I've just been... I've been working and I felt like I had other news, but I can't think of anything right now. You're married? Um, no, to the what? pillow. <laughs> yeah, yeah, to the pillow. <laughs> uh, Fun fact: In California, you can legally get married to a pillow. Same thing in Japan. Like you don't, you don't want to know the kind of things that people get married to in Japan. Is that actually correct for California? No. You're just being <laughs> well, I'm not. I'm, I'm, I'm not joking Japan. about Japan. I can though. believe that for Japan. There, there was a dude that like there is a uh, a game on the on the Nintendo DS where uh, the objective was to get the, the entire game was. Getting this girl to go out with you and become your girlfriend. Well, not only did he beat this game by getting to do that, he went to, I guess, what, whatever administration office was, so that he could legally marry it. The video game character. Video, the, yeah, that he huh. can legally, like, marry it. Did, did he, like, get a doll of her? No, he just doll? got the DS. Huh. <laughs> or he just, he married the game on the DS. What which... happens if he loses his game? If well, he loses the marriage. Yep. <laughs> that's, that's pretty much, <laughs> like, luck, the, like, the game over was when the girl, like, like broke up with you, or you know, like like turned you down. So mm. like, like if you get the do- if you get a divorce, it's like super game over. <laughs> that is the saddest thing I think I've ever heard. It's Japan. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know if you can get much worse than that. I've heard that. Uh, I've heard that in Japan, uh, the uh, the the uh, uh, the lust of the people has gone down significantly. Like their sexual. Oh yeah. Oh, like the the young the there are more older people now because the younger people. Aren't uh aren't breathing? Yeah, right. And yeah, that's breathing. <laughs> wow, yeah. But well, yeah. actually, that that's another thing is like I heard in China, they don't know how to like 
it's becoming really bad where they don't know how to date. That's what I've been hearing, and it's like, you know, they, they don't they don't have the proper sex education. Huh. So you know, when they actually do go out and stuff, it's like it's awkward. They don't know what to do. Of. Like they're kind of kind. Of, we we make the joke that like you know, kids these days they they just stay behind their computers and they don't go out. No, that's really true in China. That's um, what I've been hearing, man. It's fucking like, man. They could, that fucking sucks. They could Skype and do the chat rooms and then just, you know. That reminds me of that one show. Wasn't it like 500 Ways to Die on Spy? Yeah. Oh, yeah, thousand, yeah, yeah, yeah. Thousand, thousand, thousand Ways to Die. Thousand, thousand Ways to Die. To die where um, there's this one couple who they were holding off on sex, abstaining. Like, I think they were far, apart from each other. I think I've seen. I, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, okay, okay. They, they came together in this, like, sexual embrace and they were having such, like, just, oh, the sex and, oh. <laughs> And then, <laughs> wow! When they they both orgasm simultaneously, and they died. I'm sorry. I'm yeah. sorry. What? <laughs> they How died. They died at their orgasm because it was such such an intense like thing, and they both had like cardiac arrest. That doesn't even make sense to me. <laughs> I can't believe that's a true thing. I can't believe that would happen hey, to man. somebody with uh, like a bad heart, but to two people. Hey, if it was on Spike TV, it was true. <laughs> Spike TV. The I was gonna say, if, if you're gonna go out one way, I mean, I, that's a pretty good. You know, the, the only other constellation for your guy just die under a mountain of like naked women, like in that Monty Python sketch, or in a pool of Jello, <laughs> or in a pool of Jello women. Yeah, oh, Jello women. Ugh. Oh God, <laughs> they they have that. I mean, you know, Rule Thirty Four and everything. Right. I, I, oh, I, yeah. That image is right there. Yep, and you can see your dick through her. It's like, it's okay, let's get off of this. Okay. Subject. That's getting a little crazy. I would do it. Would you eat her afterwards? Uh, 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 anyways, uh, anything else, Eric? Show uh, my digestive system. Uh, no, I've just been yeah, I've just just been really busy this week, driving up and down from LA. Yeah. Cool, man. Yeah. What about you, Corey? Uh, I well, yesterday I had a shit day at work. I had. You know, one, my blood sugar was super low. I had insomnia that day. Like, I, I slept, like, an hour before my shift. And then, like, I almost threw up at work because of the low blood sugar. And then I had a fucking coffee brewer explode on me, so my hand fucking hurts right it, now. It looks deformed. Like, oh, it looks like oh, yeah. it's, blisters. It's, and... it's, it's, like, you know, all red. It looks like a lobster claw. <laughs> <laughs> Not really. It, it, just, it just, it's a little painful. Uh, other than that, my week, uh... I played more 101. Oh my god! I think I hit the point where it's like it's fucking insane. Like, dude, it went from like the last thing I played was you know it it went to like Punch Out, and then and then it went back to regular 101, and now it, I got to this level where it's a straight up shmup level. Like it's like, dude, how many games are inside this game? Like I love the variants. It's oh. so cool. Oh, you need to play more, Eric. I'm so, I don't even have time for Pokemon, which is life, by the way. And how am I going to play one on one? Almost, I'm also trying to play Infinite, and I haven't had a chance to like do that. Like that Battletrack Infinite? Yeah. Oh, okay. okay. Well, how far are you on that? Um, not very far. I'm to the point where um, fuck. I just got I just got the crow the crow power where like you you make oh you get, yeah, yeah the, uh, the flock of crows or whatever. Yeah, and I'm, about, yeah. I'm I'm just like I'm past that by like maybe an hour's worth of gameplay, but I just I can't. I'm so. Busy. God damn it. I'm I hear you. How was your quieter. What? How was how was your slash hour uh, thesis going? <laughs> your slash hour thesis? Actually I just reached picture lock. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, that's right, yeah. I, I just reached picture lock. Um uh my composer just sent me a rough cut uh with music over it. And, you know, it was okay. I, I mean it was um, the ending was really good. Um, for some reason the levels were too low at the beginning, so I couldn't hear it. At the middle there was kind of a, a weird mix up like like the music gave it energy that wasn't there but i gave him all the notes and you know um oh actually he, should, he probably emailed me back i should probably see what he says um but yeah it's going good i just need to find a colorist i have no idea um where to find someone to color it uh i have a friend that could that could help with that but um he is very busy with a lot of other stuff so i'm uh. not sure I, but i'll ask him because uh, uh he's actually I, th I think i talked about him a couple podcasts ago he's a very big like indie director um he was actually on a thousand ways to die. Was he in one sketch? Yeah, That's he was like cool. a like a football player. I guess that died or whatever. <laughs> but uh, he he's actually uh, pushing his uh, uh, his uh, web series uh, on Indiegogo. Um, hmm. His name is uh, Nick Acosta. He's uh, check him out. He uh, his his web series is a parody of Doctor Who. Uh, I think it's I think without having to look it up, it's like um, the title of it's an untitled web series about a detective who can travel through space and time. 
or something like it's it's like it's like a long parody name of Doctor Who. Okay. And, uh, is it the thing from Community, the um, Doctor Space Time? Or something? I'm not a hundred percent sure on that. Um, I've only I've honestly only watched a little bit. Sorry, Nick. But uh, <laughs> definitely go to Indiegogo if you can and go help him out. He's pretty cool. Uh, he does he does have a lot of um, experience with editing, huh. uh, especially cool. color correcting. Uh, and yeah, I'll see. Maybe maybe I can ask him. Maybe he can help you out. Cool. Ooh. Uh, but for the, for me, the rest of my week, um, it's been pretty cool, pretty lax. Uh, celebrated my friend Dylan's birthday. We took him out to Black Angus and uh, tried to get him to hit on the waiter or the waitress, and uh, he was like, "I don't hit on waitresses." And then like right right when the waitress walked by, so she knew what was up. And <laughs> like he's such a fucking idiot, but I love him. He's awesome. <laughs> Uh, that, that was that was my week. It was pretty fun. I gotta say that would be really awkward. Yeah, like, try, I'll, I'll tell you guys. I'll tell you guys off the uh, off the air what would happen. It was. Hey, it was anything pretty funny. you can tell us, you can tell our listeners. I'm not sure he'd be very happy about that. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. Well, then uh, let's see here. Let's see our first bit of news. Uh, well, we're kind of gonna go with this trend that we've been doing. So we'll start off a little bit with um, if anybody's been following Cosmos Space Time Odyssey. Um, I know none of us. Except for Eric, kind of follows it. Um, he, did, I, I guess, he didn't watch too much this week. I watched, I watched like the first. I watched a half an hour of it, and then like, so I was fifteen minutes away from finishing it, and then my girlfriend came over, and so I stopped watching because <laughs> you know, girls beat science. Girls beat science. Science. <laughs> well, then that's kind of a lame. Uh first point in our podcast <laughs> uh, anything you could say about it yeah no it was still super it's still like really interesting they went over um uh a lot of uh, a lot of old scientists this time like they went they're talking about uh isaac newton and apparently like his like backstory <laughs> apparently you know his his father died when he was like a baby before he was even born and then his uh his uh mother left him at the age of three and came back when he was eleven with like a new family. It seems like all like the fucking geniuses have the worst family history <laughs> ever, or yeah. have had like super like big issues. Man, why can't my family be horrible so I could be super right. like, intelligent? Oh well, uh, but yeah, but they went over apparently. <laughs> <laughs> apparently, um, apparently, like uh, Hook, like I remember Hook's law from from physics. Uh, um, I thought you were gonna go with like Hook, like the movie. <laughs> oh my gosh, no! But okay, so Hook was this, uh, you know, famous scientist as well. Came up with a bunch of theorems. Apparently, like he stole like Newton's ideas and tried to steal his his like uh, theories about relativity and all that. Uh, but they set him up in the show as such a fucking like bad guy. Like they never show his face. They say he's very like ugly and like he walks <laughs> around with a fucking hunch. And you never, he just looks <laughs> disgusting from the back all the time. And he like talks like a bad guy, like. Like, he talks like, I came up with those theorems first. Like, he talks just like that, and it's so fucking odd. That's that's so weird. It's really... Oh, and then, like... like they're really dramatizing, uh, dra- blah, 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 making it very <laughs> dramatic. And, um, it opens up, and this... It opens up in a weird... Okay, so it opens up the, the, this episode, Cosmos, and there's, like, a baby on the ground. What? Yeah, there's just a baby <laughs> on the ground, and then Neil ground deGrasse, babies, and then Neil deGrasse Tyson just comes over and just picks it up and just starts. He's like, Neil, that's, not your, that's, <laughs> that's clearly not your baby. It's white. Like, <laughs> like kidnapping. Like, that's, that's witness kidnapping. I don't know. like. It kind of felt like, oh, you're rescuing the baby. Well, then. Why are you talking about us to us about science? You found Why a baby was there a the baby goddamn... on the ground? Yeah. That's my question. In like in like the fucking wilderness at night. Like... Wait, in the wilderness? I thought it was. I, I'm imagining like city. Like you could no, spin it was, off as no, prom night dumpster like, baby. No, it was like prom the dumpster, dumpster baby. baby. <laughs> I ain't got no mama dad. Uh... <laughs> that that is one of the most offensive sketches for Family Guy, and I fucking love it. It's so Dude, funny. Dude, oh my gosh, this new last night's episode of Family Guy. Oh, I didn't watch it. Peter tries to marry his son. Oh, okay. I did see that picture. I didn't know what it was. I thought it was going to be a cutaway gag. So what the fuck? Nah, Peter, um, Chris gets in good with his, like, grandfather, you know, Peter Carter. Um, yeah, 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 And then Carter's like, you know what? Chris, I'm going to make you the sole heir of my inheritance. Oh, and Peter's like, that's... Uh, and then Peter tries to, like, marry him for his money. That's fucking stupid. Yeah. Oh, and they make a good... Like, 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 at the end, like, Lois comes, like, you can't marry your son. It's fucking illegal. Like, people are looking for you. And then, um, it ends up in this super happy, like, wholesome way. And then Peter's just narrating, and she's just like, ending like a Woody, Woody Allen film. By the way, Woody Allen also married one of his children. And then that's, the, like, the zinger for the yeah. entire... <laughs> Wait, 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 really? Woody Allen? Yeah, he yeah. married his adopted daughter. 
Like, well, well, you well, know that's, it. That's, that's an adopted daughter, though. That's not really... I mean, okay, I, I, I see what you mean. Yeah, it is technically marrying... Yeah, adopted a, a, a little, like, baby girl, and then when she grew up to be 18, he left his wife and married his daughter. Well, that's I, just like, like, James... Didn't James Woods, like... Do something with like his niece or his oh, his know. like cousin know. or something. Wait, like, did that actually happen? That did actually happen. He is he married his his adopted daughter. I so thought he was a creep, but oh my god. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Are they still together? I think so. Oh, maybe not. Well, I think so. Uh, but there are rumors that he also like molested his other daughter. That are coming out. Like, Dude, right Hollywood. Now. What, out, what yeah. kind of a world are we getting into as far as like filmmaking? I was like, fuck. I actually watched. I missed the very beginning, but I watched Blue Jasmine because I like I went to my girlfriend's house and then her and her sister were watching it, so I watched the rest of it with them. Not great. I've never liked Woody Allen to be honest. Like, I need, just, neither have I. I don't see the charm. People think there's a charm in it. I don't see it. I yeah. I, I don't know. What, uh, he did um uh, Midnight in Paris, right? Yeah, he did. I, I like that one. That one was alright. That was okay. Yeah, that was alright. I, I think it's just because I I kind I kind of have a soft spot for uh, Owen Wilson. Oh so, yeah, I can yeah. see that. Me too. I don't, I don't know. Like he play, you know, he has the same tone for every character, <laughs> but it's just like it's, it's soothing, you know. It's like, and he hey, has yeah, a, all right. And he has a dick on his nose. Pretty much, yeah. one that has been beat the fuck up. <laughs> yeah. Oh Jesus. Um, <laughs> my oh, mom. Yeah, man, we got a way away from cosmos. <laughs> yeah. Well, <laughs> from cosmos and science to dick noses. A dick, nose, dick noses and Hollywood incest. Dick Noses in Hollywood Incest. Oh my gosh, do we have the title? That's the, That's title. the title. Oh, fuck. All right. Dick Noses in Hollywood Incest. I love it. All within the span of five minutes. <laughs> <laughs> it hasn't really been that much, but yeah. <laughs> uh, man, you, but yeah. You were going to say something else? Yeah, uh, no, but Cosmos, um, still very entertaining, still cool graphics and cool cartoons. And um, yeah, this one just talked about, you know, relativity and, and, and you know, and why the Earth uh, travels in ellipse, or why the planets travel in a, ellipses around the sun, and why they, you know, some planets are faster, and how, um, how you know they calculate it, and you know, and, and like use it for uh, uh, formulas and such. So you know, you know still interesting stuff. I'm yeah, I, I just like I don't I don't actually watch too much TV now that I got my Wii U and that I could stream like YouTube and shit. I'm just watching YouTube videos. Yeah, and I actually, um, actually, my friend Dylan. Was saying that like he he straight up doesn't watch TV anymore. He just watches YouTube. He prefers that to you know watching TV and getting commercial ads and stuff. Mm -hmm. I mean, you still get that on YouTube. Uh, which, by the way, it fucking pisses me off when you have an ad that's fucking longer than the goddamn video you're watching. <laughs> right. Also, it always buffers much better than the actual video. Yes, right. It, it Stupid. I and it's not like it's a low. It's a high quality ad. I don't mm. understand. Well, let's just, you know what? Let's just preface though. It's not YouTube anymore. It's Google Tube. Oh like, it's, yeah. It's, oh god. Oh god. I hate. I, I hate I don't having like to go YouTube when now. you create a use like when you create a YouTube account. You have to go through fucking Google Plus. I hate that. No, my, oh, yeah. my screen name on YouTube, and I don't even care if people look me up. I. Really <laughs> awkward videos, but my screen name on YouTube is Screw Google Plus. Really? Google Plus? <laughs> because they, I get, I got so frustrated with them asking me, and then they forced it. They finally. Forced oh yeah, that's out. right. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, they did. Um, but and then they also they're very like forceful, like trying to get you to use your actual name on it. And I'm always they haven't forced that yet. You can still use like a different I, name. I, I use mine. I don't, I don't really care. I like whatever. I don't want my name on mine. Like especially if like one day for some reason that becomes some kind of public public figure. Won't happen. I'm just saying, just in case. You become a some, pariah. I don't want someone to be able to look like my history up. <laughs> well, I mean, I they're gonna. Well, just find don't it no let them get a hold of your MacBook, man. Because I'm pretty sure there's some sketchy shit there. Oh well, yeah, that's that should Preston, be private. Preston, we'll Preston has a folder on his desktop that says "not porn," and then it tricks people. He trolls people because when you click on it, there really isn't anything in there. Funny thing, <laughs> um, wh when uh, my girlfriend and I went to Utah, we were showing. Uh, her parents the pictures and um I, I did a slideshow off my laptop the first thing they point out is that not porn folder <laughs> that's that's gotta be an awkward moment man like yeah sorry they're they're handing me my coffee right now i don't know why because like fucking cory was pointing to me to get it but preston's right goddamn next to it well, preston <laughs> was telling a story i don't want to be rude i got so distracted <laughs> they're just pointing like every which way i'm like <laughs> I'm John, like, I'm, I, uh... It's easy to distract Preston. <laughs> Ooh, Splenda. Case in point. <laughs> One of my coworkers, like, she lives off of Splenda, man, like... That's not healthy. She will, no joke, just, like, pour 20 packs of Splenda into, like, her water. You know what I learned? Aspirin. She is really cool, though, so... I, I've been trying to keep away from, like, from sugar-free stuff and that stuff, only because oh. aspartame, when it, um... Oh, dude! When, when it, when it 
you know, gets released into your body, mm -hmm. it converts into formaldehyde. Yes, I did a, um, I, I actually won, uh, like, a little award, a science award back in, like, seventh grade for doing um, a research project on that. Mm -hmm. And uh, why, uh, Equal is the one that has uh, aspartame in it. Huh. So that, that shit can, like, fuck your system up. Yeah. Um, yeah. I, I don't know, I just prefer Splenda to everything. Plus, huh. I can't really eat sugar, so, you know. <laughs> um, Try to pronounce that word that's always on the back of those diet sodas, the Phenylalanonic. <laughs> What'd you call me, motherfucker? <laughs> Phenylalanonic. Oh Dude. no, that sounds right. And in reality, it's right. <laughs> well, like, like, well, also, what's like, what's like red number nine? Oh, well, why is it numbered? Yeah. That, that kind of like gives me a little like. Uh, what like, happened to the other reds? eight reds? Oh, um, it's also that's a. Uh, apparently, that's cancer causing. What's the that red? What's the dead. what's the dye that like Starbucks uses? Um, what's the dye that Starbucks uses that's like made out of like like bug blood? Like they're talking about there's a and not just Starbucks but like there's other like a popular red dye used in a lot of common foods in America is made from like the blood of like crushed bugs. Like every almost every like strawberry strawberry yeah. flavoring. Yeah, like, exactly. They use it. Yeah, I don't remember what's called though. I don't remember, but I don't care. <laughs> Honestly, <laughs> yeah, I don't give shit. That's a protein, bitch. It's delicious. All right. Yeah, I think it's a. I think the thing about that is if you think about it, that's what makes it bad. <laughs> that that's the American way. Don't think about what yeah, you're putting in your body. Don't think about any. Exactly. Don't think about what you're putting in your body. Blissful ignorance. <laughs> Just close your eyes and think of the home country. <laughs> Ew. <laughs> okay. Well, uh, let's go into some video gaming news. Um, Infamous two, uh, Infamous uh, Second Son dropped. Uh, have mm. you guys played the original uh, Infamous or Infamous Two? I have not. I have not. Um, well, this, the, this segment's kind of a kind of a bust. <laughs> <laughs> My lady friend liked it, but yeah, I mean, it's you know, Infamous Second Son is uh, apparently a pretty good. Yeah, it's been getting good reviews. Um, wait, is Infamous the one where he has like the electronic? Oh, uh, the electrical powers. Yeah, they're um, they're they're called conduits, which is you know their their term of mutant basically or metahuman. Uh, uh, it was actually pretty cool, man. Like one of the best things. Like you guys have played like. Uh, Arkham City or Arkham Asylum, yeah, right? Yeah. One of my favorite things to do in, in Infamous and that game was see how far I can travel across the city without having to touch the ground. So that's one of the things that I would do is, you know, you'd, you'd run off a rooftop, you'd, like, you know, use your uh, electromagnetic powers to float, and then you'd go onto, like, um, like either a rail or a, uh, an electrical, like, line, and you just grind on it using electricity. It was so cool. Static shock, status, static pretty, shock. Pretty much, you know, first. if you like static shock, go, go play this game. It's really good. Um... <laughs> Infamous 2, I haven't been able to play. Um, I've been meaning to get it. Uh, I know you get a lot more powers, but um, yeah, I've been hearing Second Sun looks amazing. Um, the gameplay is really good, and uh, people have been saying that it's uh, because Watch Dogs has been so delayed. Um, this is the first must buy for PS4, mm -hmm. which I would say, hey, good, good for that, man. I mean, right. yeah. anything to you know continue the PS4 hype. Yeah, seriously. I mean, they are one the console war, but you know. Yeah. <laughs> X-Bone would have to disagree with you. Oh, um, shoot. I, I just read something where they're saying something was supposed to be an Xbox exclusive. And, uh, or, or the, like, something in 2015, um, ger there, was, there was a German article saying that Blank Game was going to be an Xbox exclusive. And I think it was a Capcom game. And people were, <gasps> Resident Evil 7. Uh -oh. there, was, there was an article in a German magazine saying... <laughs> I mean, because this is in Germany and, you know, there's just so much speculation. Like, this could be easily be debunked as just a dumb, stupid rumor. But uh, the headline read that, like, yeah, Resident Evil 7 was going to be Xbone exclusive, which is like, huh. that's fu no, yeah, that's fuck really you, that's weird. stupid. They must have paid the, uh, the, the game, like, a lot of money to get that. Like, no, the Xbone has to do that now. Like, they have to pay Germany to write lies <laughs> about games that are going to be exclusive. Speaking of, I have a weird tidbit about Germany that I just learned yesterday. Uh -huh. uh, apparently, like, BMW was, like, like a big sponsor for, like, the American Olympic team. And I guess that was a big controversy because BMW is a, Germany, a German company. Right, right. So, German company sponsoring American and not Germany. And a lot of people had a big problem with that. I found that interesting. I don't know. I guess well, America is the the horror country, man. Well, yeah, I All guess our that's, they they thought they could get more money from America, and I, they'd probably be right. Yeah, I just I don't know. That's really interesting, actually. Yeah, talking about it yesterday. I don't know what to make about that. Hmm. Like, what what would you guys do if like I mean, well, if not, what would you guys do? <laughs> Riot. Like, <laughs> would it be so weird if like you know American company like say McDonald's or uh, uh, 
I don't know, like like Ford for because mm-hmm. Ford's an American car. If they like if they were the like the the the, the big sponsor for like Japan or for oh I I think the thing is it'd be weird. I mean that 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 wouldn't happen in our real world because America is such a fucking huge superpower as far as like you know products and marketing goes that it's like you know that'd be weird but in like an alternate universe where it's like you know we're on level field with everybody yeah Yeah. that'd be that'd be a little weird like (laughs) although I don't think Japan would have a problem with that because they fucking love American shit but like Germany Germany is what like the best world economy right now like the like the best world economy right now well I feel like it would be like best best self-sustained because you know they don't have fucking problems but at the same time if they're the best sustained, does that mean that they're not the most powerful, though? Yeah, they're definitely not the most powerful, but they have the strongest economy, I think, in the world right now, which is kind of Which really is good. I mean, great for them. It's like, why? Yeah. Are... Then, you, then you look at us. <laughs> <laughs> the guys who got beat down in both world wars is now at the top. That's I find that funny. You know, speaking of um, economies that are kicking ass, if, if you ever go to Dubai... Like they have, Dubai has those like the we got world's... cop cars going on. What's going on around uh, Preston's place? Oh shit! They caught me, guys. I Hide have, the drugs. I have drugs. I have the drugs. Not, Hide them up your butt. Not just the kind of drugs. I don't just have heroin or fucking crack. I have the drugs. You, do you have the marijuana? Are we gonna smoke the marijuana? <laughs> The Mary Jane, no, that stuff will kill you. One, Stick one to heroin. They give him one injection of marijuana, not like even it, once. Oh yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Our, our friend it? posted a picture yeah, to another friend, it. and it was it's hilarious. The dumb ad campaign. It was like a shit. really normal, like kind of handsome looking dude, and like, oh, he was convinced to he inject was, marijuana, and then it looks like it's this really photoshopped picture, and is like his head's deformed, and he's, it's not even a person. It's just a bust of something. Like somebody yeah. oh, took yeah. a picture from like a monster movie, like, yeah, like a prop, man. and like. Like not even once. It's like that's <laughs> that shit's hilarious, and it, it makes me wonder. Like, like is this really being funded by like uh, the government or, or anti drug places, or is it just like people just? Oh no, it's people? just being funny. I don't yeah, know. I that's what I figured. I don't know what it'd be like to inject inject <laughs> like like I like I've I ate three edible cookies all at once, and that holy shit, you ate three? I ate three. Yeah, dude. You gotta be careful. I ate, I. Ate freaked out i had to you, go yeah i had to go I'd to my imagine. i had to go to my dad and i had to be like dad i please watch me i'm freaking out and for like four hours i was just rubbing my arm and like <sighs> did you know or were you just like oh this can't affect me um, nom, 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 nom. i just i should have known there was a nick swartzen comedy thing that talked about that that i, I watched <laughs> where oh. nick swartzen is just like just eat half a brownie to start with no, yeah, dude. And, like, uh, yeah. if that's yeah. your first, like, was that your first time or? That was my first time with an edible. I mean, yeah, I no, dude, dude, like, I, I've, I've done, I've done the same thing. Mm. Like, I've like had, uh, like, I don't, I don't like smoking at all. Me neither. So I thought, like, my first time in college, like, way back in freshman year, I was like, what? I don't like smoking. What can I do? I'm gonna try shrooms. <laughs> you tried shrooms? <laughs> oh, yeah. oh damn. Oh. That shit. Okay, see, like, the difference between having an edible and, and shrooms for me was that I tried edibles. Uh, as far as like you know, pop around and shit, and it's like, I, f- I knew that I was high, and I was just like, I don't like that. Like when I when I had when I tried the shrooms, I didn't know I was high, or like I felt lucid. You really just thought that tripping. Gyarados was coming out of the painting trying oh, to. Dude, there there was like there was like I was sitting down in a chair, and this armchair across me was running at me at top speed, but at the same time it was like doing that elongated like uh, film shot. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah. Where it's like zooming uh-huh. in and pulling out at the same time. Yeah. So it didn't get any closer, but I was freaking out. I was like, holy shit! <laughs> but uh, I will never do like psy- like psychedelic drugs. I can't. I will. I have a, such a paranoid personality that I will freak out. It will become a bad trip. I know it. Well, I, just... I like. I, I figured like I might as well just try. I mean, like I'm in college. Might as well try. Like I, I don't think I'd do it now. Like mm. yeah, whatever. This family friendly podcast is brought to you <laughs> I was by. Say, McDonald's. Like, I, I wanted to share this story, but I think we should get away from that in so we don't incriminate ourselves. Drugs. Rugs. What the fuck? Drugs. Rugs. <laughs> Drugs and rugs. Make it make it worse. Uggs. <laughs> or gzz. Drugs, rugs, uggs, gzz. The drugs are out of our system. Anyways, um, well, you know what's kind of a drug for you, Preston, is uh, Pokemon. Pokemon. Yeah, Pokemon, Pokemon is kind of a drug for you. So you know what um, Nintendo was doing is uh, there is a uh, tournament. Um, I think it may be in Japan. I'm not 100% sure, but there is a Pokemon tournament. And Japan is giving out a special edition Mega Charizard uh, 3DS XL. Now, this is going to be one of a kind made. So it's got this really cool picture on it. Um, it's 
it's gonna have the the winner's name engraved on the back, and it's gonna be one of a kind. So it's like here grabs their phones. (laughs) I'm I'm gonna try and see if I can pull it up. Um, I just the the problem I have with that is that like Game Boys get lost so much. I still have a lot of my old like I have my oldest Game Boy, like the original like Game Boy, like the big brick. But I lost you know I lost an SP and I lost like my my pocket and I've lost two DSs now. I if I just I don't know. I feel like here's the picture of it right here. Oh, wait, let me see. That's actually not as cool as I thought it was going to be. Well, it's special edition. Like, oh, that's really, pretty cool. I thought it was going to be like really cool engraved, you know, not just a sticker. I thought, of the I thought it would have like a like. A well, it's going to be a of one of a kind made. I, I think maybe on the inside, it's going to also have special designs too. But I mean, it's going to be like one of a kind. And wonder what you're going to do. Like, like, would what would you do? Would you keep it and play it, or what when, I would kind oh, of do is I'd want to not. I'd want to sell that the shit. Person, <laughs> the person who's getting that is not going to play it. They're going to sell that sucker, and they're that's there's no question oh yeah you're gonna get like you, oh you could have this nifty like cool design fucking game boy that you could yeah play every once in a while or you could sell it for like fifty thousand dollars there are some serious pokemon collectors out that, there who well, okay, they well, will well, buy well, it yeah, yeah, yeah oh yeah um like when i got my uh my my wii u the uh, the wind waker edition mm-hmm. like the guy that was pitching it to me because like he's like um you know if you don't even play it like you can flip that shit because we're gonna sell it to you at normal wii u price i'm like that's cool like i, I like this game shop it's called uh, bros games mm-hmm. um really cool game shop in uh, north torrance uh check it out if you can um north where shut up uh <laughs> yeah uh, it's i mean like i thought about it but i figured i'm, I'm, a, I'm just gonna play it so i mean I, i'll play a special edition thing if i mean it's not too rare to find but yeah you're right if it was something like like the special edition uh uh pokemon ds thingy uh, I would definitely sell that shit. <laughs> yeah. Like my my dad, um, when I actually uh, when when I won my 3ds, uh, he was like, "Why didn't you just sell that on eBay?" I'm like, <laughs> well, no, I, I got a 3ds. I'm gonna play because I was gonna buy one anyways. Mm-hmm. I was gonna buy the 2ds actually. Kind of happy that I didn't, but you know, whatever. <laughs> I get that. I get that. <laughs> I um. Oh, I have something to add to the news. Mm-hmm. So, uh, Metal Gear Solid Five came out. Yep, yep. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Talked about, I think, the PS4. Right. Uh-huh. And Well, and, and 360. Oh, and 360. Uh, okay. Not 360. Uh, uh, well, it came out for all the platforms, but X-Bone and, and PS4 are the, the front runners as far as the next gen goes. Okay. So, yeah, it's apparently it's a prequel to a bigger game that they're continuing working Phantom on. Phantom Pain. Out. Yep. Phantom Pain, yeah. And um, so, um, I've, I've been seeing a lot of reports. It's a $30 price point. The campaign is two hours long at Right, max. like I said. People have been posting um, like speed runs of this. You mm-hmm. can beat the cam- the entire campaign, thirty dollar campaign, in seven minutes. This is true, but like, then again, these are people. If they're doing that, they're not Metal Gear fans. Like you, you have to play. Like you play Metal Gear a certain way. Like um, Metal Gear Solid Three. I love playing it. No weapons except for the Trank gun. You just sneak around the entire time, and if you get caught, like there, there is. It's called. Um, European extreme difficulty where if you get caught once game over like that that's like the, the entire... way that's the way you should play it oh, man. so like um uh correct me if I'm wrong but uh people have been playing it you know you go on horseback and you go to that base right and then uh they go from there you can th- like that if you follow that the normal gameplay playthrough it can go to two hours and you know you'll be done with it mm-hmm. but if you two play hours it still doesn't seem like a lot two hours. well again this like like um uh, fucking wow! I can't. Koji, like like Kojima said, this is just like a a tease. It, it's it's to, it's to get you ready for for Phantom Pain. And mm-hmm. Metal Gear fans and video game fans will pay will pay like thirty dollars. If uh, thank God it's only thirty dollars and not like you know like the fucking sixty dollars that it would be now. Mm-hmm. Um, thirty dollars is still pretty steep for yeah, two hours. Like, have you seen the tech though for it and everything? You like, could buy Bioshock Infinite like right now for like seven bucks. Or maybe it's like ten bucks, right? Right, but that's been out for a while. I, I mean, know, as far but... as far as like um, a a Metal Gear Solid game that looks spectacular, like I, I would not mind paying that. Hmm. And and again, it is it is all how you play because if you just try and speed run it, you're not gonna like fully ingest everything. And there's so much in Metal Gear games that like you you kind of don't want to have like run through. You you want to like explore the areas and and there's so many things hidden that mm-hmm. you know. It, 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 it behooves you to play it longer than, you know, than it's projected to be. Yeah. I, I think the record right now is 7 minutes and 46 seconds. It's just... And that, that's excluding, like, cutscenes and everything, right? Because I've been hearing that yeah. they cut down on the cutscenes. Oh, yeah. I mean, like, they would have to. I mean, especially for, like, a prequel game. I mean, for, for pa- Phantom Pain, it'll probably keep, like, you know, the, the huge, long, epic 
cutscenes like you know like all the other Metal Gear games have had. Mm. Yeah, it's cool. Um, going back a little bit to the 3DS, um, I've been hearing that the 3DS is gonna finally get uh, Unity support. What does that mean? Yeah, uh, the Unity mean? engine uh, was created uh, so that it, I think it was back in like 2005 ish. Um, it was an engine that allowed. Uh, games to translate and cross over to other platforms oh interesting yeah right, it's so it's been like, really cool you play yeah. like playstation games on your ds or something I, i'm not sure if it's that in depth but I, uh okay so put it put it this way uh the vita just got the unity <clears throat> engine uh -huh. um or have <coughs> you okay there man <coughs> you uh the vita just got the unity uh support for the unity engine in january so what that means is that um people on the vita can get modded games from PS3 games, from hmm. PlayStation, from maybe even PS4. Like, you know, hmm. we're not entirely sure because PlayStation's always been a hard nut to crack. Yeah. Um, that's why it's really hard to see some emulators from them. But that's, I mean, that's really cool because that means your 3DS can get, like, you know, can possibly get N64 games, that would you know, be without good. having to wait cool. for, a, like, an official release. Um, I don't know. I think that's just really cool because Unity is, is a, it's a pretty good engine. <laughs> is this, like, an emulator? Kind of sounds I, I, like it. Yes, I'm not. I'm not too up on the the engine. Uh, we'd have to ask Dylan uh, a little bit more about it. But all I know is that it it opens up the possibility for us to port a lot of other games. Like, say you wanted to play. Um, uh, fuck. Uh, if you I to love. Play, oh, fuck. If you want to play Pikmin? I guess on 3ds. Um, <clears throat> if developers wanted to, they can port a 3ds version of Pikmin on there. Nice. Okay. I believe that's what it is. If I, if I'm wrong, feel free to shout out to me, and that means you'll actually be listening to us. So I'll be happy either way. <laughs> that's just more shit I have to buy. Uh, I've I've one hell of a list for my DS. Yeah. Like, Wait, what's what's uh what do you have so far? I'm, I'm eventually gonna get um Bravely Default. And I think that's next on my list. I'm mm -hmm. gonna get. Tell uh, me what the point where it shits the bed, because I'm curious. What? Oh, uh, I will. I will. Um. Uh, and, and also thank you for winning that for me. Um, <laughs> Pokemon, either black or white. Pokemon, either black or white. Two, uh, Fire Emblem. I want to get all the originals, like um, like Lu the old Luigi's Mansion, mm. some of the Mario games. I'm gonna spend so that, much money. Do you have the money to spend on all these I games? I don't. <laughs> I have never been paid for a film job. Like I, I've I've worked dozens and dozens and dozens of. Well, I mean that doesn't sound that good, but like when a guy who isn't graduated yet, you know, I've probably worked like. You know, it's 40 to 50 sets so far, and I've never been paid. It's funny that you say that, because isn't that illegal? I feel like we, like, in producing, we were told that you can't, you can't legally have interns on set and not pay them. Yeah. But everyone does, <sighs> but it's not legal. Yeah. I mean, you just, and that's we how get, it is You get for, paid in food. That's how <laughs> it is for yeah. film students, you know, like, food and credit. That's, yeah. that's really it. And some, half the times you don't even get credit. <laughs> yeah. Um, this is true. I'm supposed to, like, I worked on a web series and it's supposed to be up on uh, IMDb. I don't see my credit on there. I'm like, yeah. it was. Um, I, I don't. I don't mean to brag, but like my 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 I boss. Brag, I don't mean bro. to brag. This the, the job that I just got. Um, it was kind of a cool moment I had on Saturday. He was like, oh, because he saw my credits. Like, oh, it's finished here. Let me give you the credits. And while the credits are rolling, I saw my name under like go up under like associate editor. I'm just like, oh, there it is. Was uh. She started stroking it super there? hard. Your, your name was it? Well, this was uh, a. <laughs> did you work on the confessions? Oh, no, I just worked on uh, Chapter 12. I'm doing the Confessions things. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's what I'm... I don't, yeah, I don't know if, when they're going to let me uh, do like an actual episode, but the Confessions, I have to like get it done like a five-minute episode for each kind of thing. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Oh, by the way, um, we, we may as well show off the, the title of the show, right? Yeah, yeah. We're talking about it. Like, that's true. We're talking and about. you and me both worked on it. Um, Start plugging it, boys. <laughs> It's called the. Uh, you want to know? It's called the Bay. Um, if you go to thebaytheseries.com, I think something like that. It's also on uh, Lanny Entertainment. Not doing a very good uh, job of plugging this guy. L A N Y <laughs> Entertainment. Um, yeah, but it's this. It's this Emmy nominated uh, like melodrama web series that yeah that both like Preston has done Grip and Electric on it and now I'm doing like editing stuff for their confession episodes that they're coming out with right now and. And I'm playing 101. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I, I, I need to start getting internships again, especially with, uh, man, we're about halfway through our, our final semester. Yeah. Uh, oh, jeez. Like, I uh, fucking, I'm so scared to be out of college, but that's a conversation for uh, oh, yeah. another time. <laughs> I think we all I are. I mean, the thing about internships is that you, I don't think you can get an internship once you graduate. You it's, can. You can. It's you can. It's hard I, because a lot of, I've, 
I've, I, I have like tried to apply to internships that are like, oh yeah, you have to, you have yeah, to have college school, credit. For yeah, it. college credit. Um, but like the last, I think every internship I have done at like they can give college credit, but that wasn't necessary. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. That's those are the ones the that I've done. Yeah. Uh, although the one at Paramount kind of like they they need, um, school credit, which sucks because yeah. like like. Really? really, I thought I, like I, I thought I was gonna be working on that that big film that we were gonna be doing, and uh, I didn't pick up the, the Paramount internship when I should have because I thought, oh, I'm not gonna be able to have enough time. But then that fucking film got pushed back, so you know, fuck it, god damn it. Well, kind of going off of studies, uh, there's another bit of news. Uh, uh, there were studies in the UK that shows that playing Tetris uh, actually helps curve uh, your addictive craving cravings. I saw that, and yeah, that makes. I saw that on Reddit. That makes sense. But then they were, they also kind of went to say that um you know watching TV or doing anything else kind of does that too. Huh. But they said that that Tetris significantly uh dropped uh people's cravings for addictive drugs and and whatnot huh. by uh, at least twenty four percent in the studies that they showed. Huh. Um, this reminds me of there was another study that was done a little while ago, of uh, they took a group of people and they made them play Mario. Like the original Super Mario, um, for like an hour or so a day, and they tested them, and not only did it show that these people had uh, increased um, memory skills in comparison to the control group, but they actually showed a significant increase in gray matter of the brain, which is fucking awesome. That's like holy shit. Like they're they're saying video games can help your brain instead of like fucking ruining it like everybody else thinks it is, and if anything. If this doesn't prove that that happens, it at least shows that playing Mario helps increase your brain matter. You know what? That makes us the smartest motherfuckers here. <laughs> yeah. Nerds. Well, like, Pokemon, I, I've heard, is really good for learning how to, you know, uh, with mathematics. Because oh, yeah, it, it all to... comes down to, to statistics. Well, it depends how deep you get into Pokemon. Like, but in reality, yeah. If you training if, and the Ivy training and you, you, do, you do the uh, fucking, uh, you do the breeding. And like, oh, what's the chance of the eggs? And, you know, what's the chance of the shining, the, the, getting a shiny Pokemon? If, you know, you do the uh, whole, uh, uh, the whole chain catching. And then there's also, like, uh, uh, measuring how much the uh, fucking, what's it called? The, uh, you know, when a Pokemon has a certain... Um, nature. The natures. Yeah, like, the natures. Um, you know, because that adds and, like... That adds like to a certain stat and it takes away from a certain stat and yeah, lots of math. But it depends on how much you get into it. I refuse to let myself get that detailed into it. Just yeah, like it, like it takes away from the magic. And yeah. that's why I'm always gonna beat you. <laughs> oh, shots fired! Oh, multiple middle fingers being flown around. <laughs> <laughs> um, like no, I agree with you, Preston. Like I I know of EV training. I just. Like that—that's fucking too nerdy for me. It's like, well, now that they I'm do just the, playing the game, man. Well, now that they do the mega training or the the, the super, super training. training. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nah, so see much, that, see that. I'll do that because yeah. that's actually part of the but game. I, whereas EV training EV, before was like game breaking. EV training, like you can also EV training. They made easier with the horde battling. Too. Okay, so wait, wait, real quick. What's the difference between EVs and IVs? Okay, so um, EVs are something you effort can train. values, right? Yeah, effort values. So EVs are something you can train. You can train either. You go and you fight a certain Pokemon. Why do we always come back to Pokemon? I don't know. Um, either you find a certain, but like say you're fighting a Geo dude, and because his main stat is defense, that's gonna boost your defense, and that's what it originally was, and it was painstaking, and it took a while, and you had to keep track, but people did it. Um, now you could do the super training, which boosts the same thing, and you just play the little soccer game, the little and right, right. punch the little soccer bags. Game was hard as hell too. Some of them can get a little tough. They get they get easier as you get better at it. Um, and but you can also do whore training now. We're like five... wait 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 whore training. Yes, you, whore you, you could put them out on the streets <laughs> <laughs> with the ditto. Have, have in like the a, have, have a Braxton just like being like, hey baby, want a good time? No, that's ditto, and that's in the breeder because ditto's the big whore because he'll sleep with anything. No, this um, is true. Um, <laughs> yeah, I could be whatever you want me to be, baby. <laughs> <laughs> exactly, but no horde training. So like you know you have five. You know, five, like, say, uh, I don't know, like five oh, Geodudes. Oh, Horde, like yeah. with a D. Yeah, with the oh, D. Oh, okay. Always with the D. Uh, anyway, <laughs> yeah. Horde training, and then you fight five, and then you get 20 EVs all at once. Um, of course, I just, everyone does the super training. And then there's also IVs. Okay, IVs are, are intrinsic values, or? Yeah, IVs are things that you you that a Pokemon just has. Like, it, you can't... You can't train IVs. It's just something a Pokemon has or it doesn't. And a lot of people, you can breed for them. Like, especially if you have a Ditto, um, you can find with, like, six IVs, like, perfect IVs. And, you know, they, they're they like EVs. They boost the stats, like, separately. You can have a max of 31 IVs. 
I know it sounds complicated. Nerd. But like, oh, this is okay. Real quick though, this reminds me of like um, Final Fantasy VII, where you you try to breed so that you can get the perfect golden chocobo. Oh yeah, because yeah, that, that shit bit. was like intense, bit. man. You had to like breed them incestually and like, <laughs> oh, it's fucking weird. And then like, I know I know friends that like that that was their pride. It was like, yeah, I bred a golden chocobo. It's like, fuck. Yeah, I remember my brother doing that too. Uh, yeah, I never did breeding incestually. Yeah. That's how uh, my uh, my sister niece was born. Your sister niece. <laughs> <laughs> my grandfather's sister niece. <laughs> my grandfather's sister niece. So she's also a dude. At- <laughs> it's gonna be worse. Big daddy, bro. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay, right. let's get off of this. We already hit like Hollywood incest. <laughs> Anyways, uh, anything to add up on the uh, the EVs and IVs and. Uh, shit. Uh, EVs I'll do, IVs I won't. IVs is too much. I'm not that... There's, oh, God, it's... it. The problem is, it gets to the point where it doesn't even seem like it's fun anymore. Yeah, you know? you're right. It's really just for if you want to be competitive against other people. Yeah, but I, I like you, Preston. I, I just like going and playing the game. Like, mm-hmm. It was intended. As God and DeMille intended. I am so in love with my Tyrant. It is such a cute little fart. Uh, and right? to... I, lo- I love Tyrant. That's why I was happy when I got Tyrantrum. He looks so cool. Yeah, Tyrantrum, I really like, he was part of my main team. He looks like, an, a, like a grizzled old man who gives no fucks about anything. And like, make sure like you hold on to like crunch, like the move crunch, uh, yeah, because it has, crunch, yeah. it has, the, its ability is like strong jaw, which means like biting and crunch yep. moves are, like the attack is increased. Crunch mm-hmm. doesn't flinch, right? No. It, yeah, okay, like, that's lowers, what I thought. It lowers something. Special defense. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Which, which is really fucking helpful. Special defense always. Yeah. <laughs> not really. I don't know. Well, what, what if... Well, Tyrantrum's not a special attacking... I mean, yeah, maybe well, the that, next that's Pokemon. true, but I mean, if you if you EV that shit, that can help out a lot better. <sighs> but Tyrantrum, it's dragon and it's gra- rock, right? And those two normally don't have... Man, and there's dragon pulse that you could teach it. Well, but... what about what, what about Draco Meteor? Uh, yeah. Because that, that that's what I do, is I just crunch lower their, their special defense. Hey, guys, what's Meteor. next on the list? <laughs> <laughs> Um, actually, I think we're just going to take uh, a break and get, get a word from our sponsors right now. If that is good for Eric, or if he wants to keep debating this shit. What, are we debating? I don't what know are we debating? <laughs> <laughs> Let's just take a word from our sponsors. <laughs> this episode of the Epic Nerdcast is brought to you by the Nakachan Life Blog. Eric, do you like Japanese food? I <laughs> love Japanese food. You're pressing That you're was not, my Eric. question. That was my question. Ask it again. Eric, do you like Japanese? Yes! <laughs> you like Japanese, huh? I see where you're going with this. Well, anyways. You're Japanese. I thought it was Korean. Da, 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 da. I hate you, Eric. <laughs> um, anyways, like always, we are sponsored by the Nakachan Life blog where a uh, girl named Christy goes out and reviews uh, nice Japanese places around the area. But have you guys also been curious on how to make your own food? You, yeah, no, you, I kind of, <laughs> I cook, I, I eat. Because now she has <laughs> videos and recipes on how to make your favorite foods. Like actually, just a couple days ago, she was telling me that she had a, uh, a special recipe uh, and a how-to of how to make your own caramel sauce. Oh, it was really cool. That's cool. Yeah. She's uh, she's actually taking, she actually uh, took uh, the Zupa Toscana uh, soup recipe from Olive Garden. Wow, my voice went really weird just now. Bleh. And uh, she replicated it and made it, you know, for like, pennies it was pretty damn good so yeah i would say go check that out if you guys like that go check it out japanese food it's delicious why is street pass so fucking stupid I you just, don't like it i just i don't understand i don't fucking get it just if you want to add me as a friend just fucking say hey let's let's be friends here's my friend code i'm a little bit obsessed with it right now well that's because you just got it <laughs> looks like oh i have a new arrival go to the plaza to see All who's right. that is it me no. Go to Plaza Gate. Yeah, I guess. I'll it's go gonna there. take forever, dude. <laughs> I, well, you guys do podcast stuff, and I am I am exploring a new uh, the Meverse. I'm more okay. interested in your Meverse than the podcast. Yeah. Do we really care about the podcast anymore? <laughs> oh, it's some fucking weird dude. Who is it? Is that you? Oh yeah. Oh that's yeah, that's me. Corey. <laughs> yeah, you don't look like that at all. Who the fuck well, is that? Well, I, t- I gotta change. I cut my hair and I shave my stupid little goatee thing. A's and punk. Oh, you're from California? I didn't know that. Wow. I'm from Parts Unknown, bitch. Torrance. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> Every time. Just like your imaginary girlfriend. What? It's not imaginary. It's just a pillow. That's a good point. Yeah. 
Or so sometimes a very well paid hooker. Oh yeah, I remember when you we went to uh, that restaurant one day. Oh, you, yeah. <laughs> you brought quote unquote air quotes if you can't see her. <laughs> uh huh. Eric's just here like with that seething look behind his eyes. You tagged someone. Oh Jesus! I'm sorry. I'm not seething. No, I'm, wait, seething? Look at my eyes. I'm I'm down at my DS. I don't know what the fuck you're talking about. He's staring a hole into that DS. <laughs> All right. Well, let's move on to the next bit of news. Uh, so, Eric, I believe you and I both watched this, but um, uh, dude, what are you? Are you like fisting his DS? I'm trying to force it to take. Yeah, Preston it's, Street for pass. some reason it's not connecting, and it's very sad. Mm, I'm gonna try worry to worry about it later. <laughs> yeah. Um. So, Eric, uh, you and I both watched this, but uh, Days of Futures Past trailer number two came out. Yeah, it looked awesome. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, X-Men, uh, Days of Futures Past coming out uh, in May. Mm -hmm. And, uh, dude, the second trailer looks amazing. You see way more Sentinels. Like, I think at one point you see fucking Nimrod. Uh, oh, it's going to be such a great movie. It really, Yeah, it really is. I mean, I, it looks like... Like, the last one, the last trailer... You got a lot of like the awesome kind of you know action. You got to see uh, you know the the coming together of the two different like 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 times. You know you have the original X Men where you have um, uh, Ian McKellen and and Patrick Stewart. And yeah, Patrick you, Stewart, you, yeah. You, get, you pretty much you pretty much get the Brian Singer cast from X One, Two, and Three, and then you get um, First Class. Which okay, real quick on that trailer, what I like about this is they're not whoring out a shitload of trailers. This is only the second trailer. And it's coming out in like you know in two months, huh. which I really like that because it because a lot of the complaints that people have nowadays is like oh trailers show too much of the movie like I don't need to watch it anymore. I would have to agree with that. Actually. Yeah. So what's yeah. really cool about this is we we're we're only getting two trailers right now. Which same thing with the Godzilla one, they've only had like two trailers so far, mm -hmm. and it doesn't it, it hypes you up for it because oh my god these trailers look amazing, but at the same time it's not showing you too much. I much prefer teasers over trailers. Yes. Well, I mean I like trailer like done well. As long as they they hype you up and they don't reveal everything, mm -hmm. like uh, what's what's a good uh, the the Sin City two trailer uh, that came out, I, I really enjoy that too because again doesn't show you too much. It just you know hypes you for it. I'm trying to think of a really bad like trailer that showed everything before you saw it. I'm trying to think like a good like yeah. a really okay wait uh, for for me a personal thing that it's fucking it's kind of bugging me a lot is. Captain America has way too many trailers for me. Oh, I yeah. love Captain America. Uh, I love Marvel, and I love the Marvel movie franchise, but the Winter Soldier has so many fucking trailers right now, and every one of them, it shows you the fucking Winter Soldier's face. The whole premise of the trailers are, who is the Winter Soldier? Who could it be? You see guy. him like four times. It's that I'm guy. not going to spoil it, but we know who the fuck it is. You know, there are people on YouTube who take all these trailers, compile them together, and actually cut the movie to like what makes... What they think makes sense, like they try to predict it from the trailers, <laughs> and they're usually pretty right. Yeah, like I, I don't know, like I feel like there's too much in trailers now. Like, um, one of my favorite trailers from last year was I really liked the Walter Mitty trailer because it was just set to music. It was set to um, mm -hmm. Dirty Paws, I believe. It didn't really even tell. Like there was barely any dialogue in it. You kind of just watched this amazing cinematography set to this music, and you're like, what is this about? Huh. And like I really like that, like the original first trailer that came out, and uh, which by the way it was actually a pretty decent movie. I enjoyed it. It wasn't like you know super huge in light of the in light of all the other like big movies that came out, but it was just a nice simple like family movie, feel good movie. Yeah, good I movie. agree with that. I um I remember really liking the uh, the Watchmen trailer. Yeah, the, the uh, Watchmen trailer was really cool. It had the uh, fucking uh, Smashing pumpkin song to it, um, where the you know it's starting with like the fucking the. Um, fuck, what's it called? The owl ship. I forget what it's called. Like, coming out of the Archimedes? water. Archimedes? Yeah, yeah, with Archimedes coming out of the water. And, I and got Cory on Street Pass! Why don't we have each other? But not Eric. That's that's weird. I, Everybody loves Cory. I got Cory. Got... <laughs> that's your new catchphrase. <laughs> Everyone likes Cory. No, my catchphrase is every group needs an Asian. That was my... That was how I got every in with, like... Every group needs an Asian. Well, that, that, that's how I got into my 336 group. I'm like, hey, guys. Every group needs an Asian. I like what that. What up, nigga? <laughs> <laughs> I remember you saying that. And I, this is right when I met Preston. I'm like, hi, I'm Corey. Yeah, that was that was my first impression of you was token Asian. Yep. Yep. And and I, then then I've become super racist against me and every other Asian. It's fucking weird. I have this weird paradigm where I'm like, ironically Asian yet super whitewashed. 
Ironically Asian. That should be your... <laughs> that, that should be, if I ever have, like, an autobiography that I write myself, that, that'll be it. Ironically Asian. Kori Nakashima. Ironically, Ironically Asian. Asian. Or, like, make it, like, your Steam handle. That'd be cool. Like, your Steam. That could, that could work out, too. Or a Twitter handle. Uh-huh. Hell, yeah. just make it your handle. <laughs> and, like, in everything. Uh, real quick, uh, Preston, like, what, what movie trailers did you like? I mean, that, that, that have really stood out to you and haven't spoiled too much of anything. Um, oh, God. That, oh, that, you that know what? I'm, I'm sorry. Um, go, go answer your thing, and then I have something afterwards. Sorry. Um, God, what movie trailer did I really like? You know what? I'll have, to, I, I'll have to get back to you. I'll have to think about that, because there have been a couple of good ones that they are not sticking out right now in my mind. Okay, well, real quick, then. I forgot to add something uh, that I did over the, the week. Uh, at Dylan's birthday, we also went to go watch uh, the Need for Speed movie. Oh, how was that? Uh, you know what? Honestly, for a video game movie, you got exactly what you would expect out of a video game movie. So, pretty decent video game movie. I mean, the story, eh, who cares? Um, one thing that sold it is that there are little to no special, or little to no CG. Yeah, I heard it's, that. It's, I heard it's all, all practical. Sucks. And yeah. it's, it looks really good, because, uh, like, going into that, like, knowing that, you're like, damn, that's practical? Holy shit. That's yeah, awesome. Yeah, yeah. Like that. Plus, the cars are really nice. Um... Characters are stock characters. Um, you get fucking, you know, you get Jesse from uh, Breaking Bad. Yeah. And honestly, he, as far as the protagonist goes, he kind of looks more like a serial killer than a protagonist, <laughs> and he sounds like it too, which is kind of fucking funny. Um, yeah, I mean, if you, you just watch it as a fun action movie, like then yeah, you'll you'll come out of it satisfied, especially in the fact that it's a video game movie that didn't completely suck. Yeah. Like, you know, it, it's it's cool. That's why I've heard that. You don't go into it, like, seeing it as a movie. Just go into it for the racing and for the action. Yeah, exactly. Like um, and one thing that I do appreciate is that you feel like they sat down and went, all right, how do we make this so it's not just another Fast and Furious? Mm-hmm. Like, they did it. They, they they kept it pretty true to the video games. Um, they, they The inclusion of the cops in there was pretty cool. Um and I felt like it wasn't it wasn't a bad attempt for for a Need for Speed movie. Nice. I've spoken out about this before. Um, how I don't like A list celebrities in my movies. Mm-hmm. If I were to see that, I would think Jesse Pinkman. One hundred percent. I think like, oh look, Jesse Pinkman is is in a car. I would not have a problem with that. Other people might. I would not have a problem. Don't with that. Yeah, it, it was You're just not allowed to disagree with me. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> uh, I don't know. I thought I thought it was. I I, I was happy. I got my money's worth out of it. Um. It was a fun little movie. The, oh, but oh my god. They had they wrote the most black character I have seen in a movie oh, so the far. The hot, the oh out. my god, he is like I'm just like it was kinda of painful to watch. It's like, oh my god, could you make a blacker character? It's fucking ridiculous. Like uh, Josh Sharpie on him. Like I mean not color wise, you <laughs> idiot. I meant like personality wise. It's like Jesus, man, they because they've gone a little bit more racist. It was almost watching a Boondocks parody. Which, by the way, Boondocks are coming back on my birthday. The Boondocks? Yeah. Like, wow. I didn't, I yeah. Didn't Season... Happened. Okay, here's the thing, though. Oh. Season 4, but no Aaron Magruder. The original creator is not in there. Oh. Which oh. Kind, of, kind of is like, I don't know about it. Like, I love me some Boondocks. I love the animation. But if you don't have the main guy behind it, I don't know. Kind of like what happened with Community. As soon as they took Dan Harmon out, it dropped. Really yeah, badly. so I, I don't know. But I feel like this is going to be a final. I think they said it was going to be the final season. Okay. So I'm cool with that. I'll, I'll definitely watch it and see how it is. But like, I'm a little disappointment. Uh, a little disappointment. I'm a little disappointed that Aaron McGruder isn't going to be back. He's actually doing his, uh, his new show, Black Jesus, on Adult Swim, <laughs> which is really cool. Looks like, um, oh, God, what was it? Um, Black. He did, a, he did the Black Dynamite uh, uh, little cartoon. I don't remember. Uh, do you remember the movie Black Dynamite? It was like a black exploitation parody movie. Oh. It's actually pretty good. Um, he, uh, Aaron Magruder, I believe, uh, made a uh, a short little cartoon uh, series out of it, which was pretty. It was pretty cool. The animation was really cool. Nice. Tanner, uh, go check that shit out. You know what you should also check out? Um, besides the X Men trailer also coming out, they've also announced um the next few X Men movies. So the next few movies that we're going to be getting is uh, X-Men Apocalypse, which I'm super hyped about what? because we finally get Apocalypse, who is, um, he, in, in the comics, he's supposed to be like one of the, like the oldest, I think he is the first mutant. He's the first mutant? Yeah, he's he's the first mutant and that's where all like the, How old the mutant, is he? like uh, millennials old. He must have been breeding a lot to make all those mutants. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's really cool because he has like, um, his, his trope, which is always fucking hilarious, is 
I'm gonna corrupt these mutants and make them my horsemen of the apocalypse. And then they proceed to kick his ass later after getting all the powers. Why did I do that? Why did I give him this power? And it's cool because at one point you get to see um, Wolverine become corrupted and become war. Oh. It looks super cool. And then uh, I believe huh. Gambit becomes death at one point. Huh. Which, by the way, Aaron, Brian Singer, the director who is uh, doing Days of Futures Past, he did the original X-Men trilogy, uh, he's going to be doing this, and he said that he wants to get Gambit, a good Gambit, and Nightcrawler back into the series. Nice. So I'm really happy Will about they that. they take the original Nightcrawler? Because I really liked him. Yeah, I liked him too. And I don't know at this point. Um, I, I would say that they would try and get him back. Yeah. Uh, who knows if he would. Like, I don't know what he's been up to. I haven't seen him in anything. Yeah, but I mean, like, I'm just, oh, man, I'm, s comic book movies right now, man, I'm so fucking hyped for them. It's kind of the new trend, like, there oh, there yeah. were a lot of video game movies, those kind of fell off and died and crashed horribly. And they yeah. tried board game movies. Oh, yeah, dude, they were, they, they, okay, so yeah. so you know how they had Battleship, right? Yeah. They were, they were gonna try and do, um, fucking, uh, Stratego, and... Yeah, Stratego. Candyland. They were gonna do Candyland, they were, they were gonna, gonna do Candyland. Monopoly, like, But they settled like, for making it into a Katy Perry mu uh, music video. Of a whole movie. Wait, wait. I don't know. I'm just, oh. <laughs> I was gonna say, like, wait a minute. Are you? Are you I like? It's, I think it's straight? California Girls. There's, it's like it looks yeah, like yeah, yeah. Candyland with Snoop Dogg. And... Is that the one where she shoots whipped cream out of her yeah. boobies? Yeah. Uh -huh. I like Katie that Perry's, video. I like, the fire, I like fireworks where she shoots fireworks out of her boobies. Oh yeah. Cause baby, go fly away. I just like her boobies. <laughs> Come on, show me why. You have E.T. Where, where she's you know like a sex alien. <laughs> Make it go. Uh, uh, Okay, let's move on besides oh, this. <laughs> you know what else has boobies? Kill a Kill has boobies! Did you watch Kill a Kill? Well, he has drawings of boobies. Well, I did watch Kill a Kill. Next, next episode's the final. The finale. Wait, did I miss an episode? Did I watch last Thursday? Did you? Uh-oh. Wait, 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 wait. What happened last Thursday? Did they engage, uh... They, they, um... The, did you see the ship go through the, uh... The, uh, old... The, the, the original life fiber? No, I am okay. I'm, so I am yeah, an episode yeah. behind. Uh, Fuck. Well, this coming episode is the finale. Like, they said Okay, okay. The is, is it going to be... Do you know if it's going to be a season finale or series finale? They just said Kill a Kill finale. Uh, it really... It makes it sound like it's Like, it'd be badass if it's going to be the series finale, but at the same time, I want more Kill a Kill. I know, but they made it, it's sound, so like it's, good. They made it sound like it's the series finale. Oh, man, I can't stress enough, people. Go watch Kill a Kill. It's almost done. It's going to be fucking awesome. Like, holy shit. It's super cool. It's, it's super Preston, cool. you need to watch Kill a Kill. If you like boobies, you're going to love Kill a Kill. Animated. And it's short, dude. It's only like, it's like 26 episodes. I, Japanese, I really, Japanese anime boobies. I really do want to get into it because okay, I love you know, you know what? Okay, Japanese okay. anime boobies. Uh, you know what then? Watch Gurren Lagann first and then go watch Kill a Kill. Are they the same universe? Uh, it's, uh, no, no. It's, no. Uh, it's both made by Trigger, though. So same animation style, kind of the same, um, not the same narrative, but the same feel. Um, it's... Really good. Like, actually, Dylan just got into uh, Gurren Logan, and he fucking loves it. It's amazing. It's one of the most epic animes ever. And we have really odd shifting in our sheets. Sheet, in our sheets right now? Sheets. I'm, our sheets. I'm upside down now. We're, you know, we're all just, you know, doing this podcast in one bed. I want to ski in your sheets. <laughs> all, all curled up in one bed. <laughs> under a pile of coats. <laughs> under a pile of coats. Nothing can get you under a pile of coats, okay? <laughs> Corey is so warm. I, I am warm. I'm, I'm just... I'm, I'm cuddly, bitch. Deal with it. Yes. Yes. Oh, you, wait, 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 wait. You got you got a pimple on your back. Let me pop it. Wait. Are you talking uh, to Preston? You know, are you talking to... Uh, you, know, you know, you guys... Ah, uh, got it. I fucking love it when Ileana pops my zits. Uh, so okay, much. this is getting... She good. loves it, I don't. Oh, I mean, my, my girlfriend, not Why? Yes. <laughs> I feel so... I love it, like, when she goes through my back and she, like, just looks like blackheads and zits just pop. I oh, love it so I much. had a time. Okay, so, um, back in the day, uh... The one and only time I let her do this, my girlfriend waxed my back. She waxed your back. Oh, you told me I, this. I, I, I know she was shaving your butt, but she waxed. <laughs> oh my your god. Back. <laughs> Uh, it's, yeah. Oh God! That sounds horrible. There is no nothing sacred in my body. Um, let me pull up the picture now. Do you do you have? You know what? I think this uh, honestly, guys. I think we should probably save this for after the podcast. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Do you have a hairy back usually? I um. Preston no, just looks like a hairy guy. Not anymore, but. <laughs> but you did like because like my back is pretty like fucking spotless. Like I mean, it has black ends, but no hair back there. And I'm Asian, so I'm smooth and hairless. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, he is. Uh, okay, let's. Right, well, we well, we'll save that for after the podcast. That's a little, little intense there. 
Um, so did you guys hear about this though? Uh, as far as anime news goes, uh, Sailor Moon's getting a reboot. Really? Yeah. Oh, that really? you know, um, they were actually supposed to uh, reboot it back in 2013, but like you know, shit's been going down. Is it, is it the same like animation style, or are they giving it a new look? Um, if you look at it, it's kind of the same style, but just it's. I mean, it's the same style, but it's more modern. Cause like Sailor Moon before had a very like. 80s 90s style yeah. anime yeah, look absolutely. to it and now it's going to be you know, a little more probably sharper modern. Right? yes it, yeah that's the best way to put it it's sharper okay. a lot more lines to it um cool. like uh, like back when i was a kid my sister loved sailor moon and i just like okay i'll watch it because it always came on before something like there was another anime afterwards that i would just like okay i'm just i'll watch this and then i'll watch the anime afterwards and yeah. like you know it's, it's like i was a little privy to it i i don't know uh, yeah. Sailor Moon. I mean, yeah, I didn't watch. Fighting evil by moonlight. Uh, I mean, I didn't watch it like we really evil. We love I by daylight. <laughs> yeah, I didn't really watch it either. But everyone, everyone came across it now and then. Like everyone, like it was on, and they're like, "All right, I'll just watch this." Yeah, cause she is the one named Sailor Moon. <laughs> <laughs> I found the uh, there was a uh, this metal version of the theme song that I that I found. It was fucking badass. Yes, I am Sailor Moon. Well, not 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 growling, but it was uh, like it was. More more like speed metal, so it was really, it was really cool. I'll, maybe I can find the I'm link. I'm Sailor Moon. I'm Sailor Moon. I'm Sailor Moon. I'm Sailor Moon. My uh, my cousin actually fun fun fact. My cousin's father in law used to torrent all those episodes back when torrenting was like brand new. Uh huh. Only because you know the, the his kids used to love watching it. That was the one and only time he ever got a letter from the what the MPAA or whoever, like uh-huh. the people who tell them like stop like a cease and desist or we will like he sue was you. torrenting sailor moon he was torrenting sailor moon <laughs> That's and that hilarious. like and he got a cease and desist <laughs> oh funny um at at the bay you know at laney entertainment mm-hmm. they told me specifically multiple times don't pirate anything here like i bet apparently one of their past co-workers oh yeah yeah them. yeah and because they're because like they're they're you know in this like television entertainment building mm-hmm. if they pirate a movie I mean, that's, like, like apparently, like, it was a Paramount movie, and so they, like, were really, apparently they were really, like, angry about that stuff, and, like, sent a letter about, you know, how to, like, cease and desist and all that. Like, oh, no. Yeah, so they told me, like, three times, like, don't pirate Yeah, the, the, it seemed my last internship, they told me that, too. <laughs> I'm like, okay, I'm not gonna do it anyways, but yeah, okay. Yeah. Uh, Sailor Moon, though, like, getting, getting a cease and desist for Sailor Moon... <laughs> That's pretty you know how embarrassing. awkward that's going to be? Yeah, that's pretty embarrassing. <laughs> that would be worse. It would be for, like, Inuyasha. I, I would honestly, I would almost say that I'd rather be uh, given a cease and desist for Sailor Moon than Inuyasha. I used to watch the shit out of Inuyasha. I never I liked just, Inuyasha. I liked Inuyasha. It was I got really, so tired It's of Dragon Ball Z for girls. I got so tired of the filler episodes. It yeah, was all too. filler. It got canceled, and then it like, came back, like, years later. Like, I, I watched up until it got canceled. I never got back into it. I have a black back. hole in my arm. They're like... <laughs> that's cool! That's they're so like stupid. Awesome. They're like six million seasons. Yeah, like it just is. never. Well, ends. that's that's what happened to fucking Naruto. Like, um, oh, ship it when, in. When, yeah, well, yeah. no, 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 ship it in is, is afterwards. But like, um, what happened was is everybody knew. Like when when Toonami had Naruto, everybody was telling them don't fucking put the fillers in because nobody's gonna watch that because it is shit. Uh-huh. What did Toonami do? They put it on. Viewership went down the toilet and they canceled it. Yeah. Now they just recently brought it back for Shippuden, but like that's <laughs> like. Anime fillers are ass most of the time. They're awful. Like, that's what happened to Roroni Kenshin. Uh, Roroni Kenshin was uh, going on at the same time as the manga was still being written. Mm -hmm. So, they're like, people were saying, dude, slow down with the anime because we're going to catch up and then you're not going to know what to do. So, they're like, no, don't worry about it. That'll happen later. Then they caught up to the manga and they're like, well, shit, all right, filler time. And the filler arcs were terrible. There There was one episode where the filler arc was Kenshin gets his eyesight taken away. It was fucking stupid. Oh, and Sanosuke, I think and then yeah. Sanosuke spends like three episodes punching dogs in a cave. What the what the fuck? That's punching, so stupid. Punching dogs? Yeah, there's like he was like he's like stuck in a cave or something, and like there's like a shitload of dogs there, and oh. they're attacking him. He's just punching them for like four episodes, and it's so stupid. You guys remember when he was punching rocks with that double? Like, oh yeah, 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 the double hit. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. Like, would, something Kiwami. Uh, uh, fucking yeah, yeah. yeah like, I, I took that to be true. And so, okay, like, yeah. That, as a kid, I would punch the shower wall a lot, trying to like practice it, and just fucking yeah. It's the time you have to like that. you have to destroy the resistance, and then you have to punch through. <laughs> The futai, futai Kimami or whatever now it's that, called. Now that we're older, it's fucking stupid, but as a kid, it's like, oh, oh, you, what are you talking about? It's so cool. It makes sense. Don't do that on the fucking stand with the mic. Ow. <laughs> <laughs> That's what you get, bitch. <laughs> oh, but like at the same, like, um, like, uh, doing Shoryukens from Street Fighter. 
Imagine that you can like slice somebody's chest open with an uppercut. Which I mean, you, can, you technically can if your knuckles are sharp enough. Yeah. I um. I wish the Yu Haka show went in a different direction. Yeah, Yu Yu Haka show got weird. Like, okay, I still th- love that show. Okay, yeah, one thing that I thing. don't like is that almost every shonen anime or manga gets to the point where it's we're gonna have a tournament. Yeah. yeah. I like. I don't like that trope. I. You know what? I. Oh my god, up. he just, Preston just pulled out an entire box set of Yu Yu Hakusho. Oh show. shit, yeah, oh go, damn. Yeah, it goes up to uh, Rescue Yukina. Oh damn, holy crap. Wait, wait, so that, uh, that was the one where it's T.A.'s sister, right? Was that the uh, one? Yeah, uh, I, I don't think... Like, well, that, that the, is, that's not far at all, at actually. At the very end of this, like, it just begins the Guru Brothers, and then that's, oh, like, yeah. it ends there. Well, like... So, I, yeah, the Taguro brothers were really cool. I didn't mind the dark but... tournament. I did wish that because they, they set up this whole cool like spirit detective thing, and then they went to the tournament. I, I just it think was... it's a dumb trope because it, like it's gonna happen in every shonen yeah. thing. Yeah. Like uh, the only one that I think it worked with was Dragon Ball because there it was. Well, it, the, it served. It served. No. Well, the, the thing is, arts. it served a purpose within the manga and the anime because it was kind of like the checkpoint to see this is how far Goku has gotten. Yeah. Because in original Dragon Ball, it went like you know first ten Kaichi, then the second one, and then the third and... one he finally won. And to a certain point, Naruto, because that's how you advance in, like, your, your rank. Yeah, yeah, it's just, it's just funny to note things that it's just like, we're gonna have a tournament, okay, <laughs> it's, oh, the, it's hit but, that point. Did you guys finish it with this whole dad thing? Like, he, Which one, do you yeah, have with, like, like, he's, he's actually a demon? He's, I, his dad's a demon, and he goes, like, fine. Yeah, that, that's, okay, that's the, that's the like problem that I had God, with, uh, um, that's the problem that I had with fucking Bleach. Like, when, like, like, I stopped right when they kind of, like, around the Soul Society area, yeah. and I was just like, wait, his dad's a fucking Soul Reaper? That's fucking stupid. I think that kind of made sense. Well, because... I, I just think that it's dumb when it's like you... you. Well, why would he have... Because like at the very beginning of Bleach, they talk about how, like, oh, yeah, you know, I've always been able to see ghosts, and I've always had this, like, paranormal, like, power. It's like, well, okay, how? And why that, why do you need a reason it. behind it? He's, it's a fucking manga. He's I, just, like, that kind I of guy. I think it's good that he has a reason. I, 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 don't like, I, I don't like the dumb justification of that, where it's just like, really? This entire time he was, you know, fucking Soul Reaper, and, like... Okay, okay. He couldn't okay. have let... He, he let all this other shit happen, like, in the first episode, where he gets fucking owned by Fisher D or whatever the fuck the hollow was. It's like, you couldn't have done anything about it? Like... I don't know. Well, but I don't know. That makes sense. Like, it's just... It just so happens that there's a boy with special paranormal powers, and it just so happens his mother gets killed by one of these special paranormal monsters. Yeah. It just so happens that he also becomes one of these shooting gods. No, it makes sense that he's been tied into this world from the beginning. I like that. I, I, I don't like that because it feels like you're covering your ass. Like, like you're writing things in just because it seems cool, well, and I, I don't like that. that. It just seems too coincidental. That's Dude. life. <laughs> no, it's not. That's life. No, it's not. <laughs> Shit happens. Life is not that coincidental. Like, no, so. okay, like, sorry. I, I don't believe in destiny. I hate that fucking shit. I think shit doesn't really happen for a reason. It it happens. And what you make of it is how life goes on. You've been watching Rick and Morty, haven't you? Well, I, I've thought of that before, Rick and Morty. But yeah, that's what I really believe. Like, I, I don't really care for the whole, like, destiny scheme. So, like, I mean, if done right, I agree with you. It's cool. That, to me, though, in Bleach, it just seemed like a cop. I was like, uh-huh. eh, really? Like... Uh, I, I I hate when things. It almost seems like it's retcon. Jumping jumping topics. Did you see the new Rick and Morty? Uh, the one with the which television. One? The television. Uh, he more or Rick. Sets oh up yeah, 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 yeah. Interdimensional television. Oh my god, so fucking funny. It's, it's it gets pretty dark when when Morty's like, "That's my body out there. I have to wake up every morning." Yeah, but that's I like that they get emotional and then like I, d- I love improv, that too, but it's oh my god. And everything's fucking improv. Like like they like like they even made a reference to it that all these like. So 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 Rick sets up this 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 interdimensional television sh- show like television so that you can just watch the different dimensions and so like there's these random off the cusp like, off the cusp like like ideas like there's like a really demented fucking um uh fucking Lucky Charms commercial oh yeah, <laughs> like, yeah. where like the leprechaun <laughs> eats the Lucky Charms like it, oh. it, the, the the trope was it's supposed to be like a combination of tricks and Lucky Charms right like the leprechaun. Like, no, but, no, and Lucky Charms are always kids chasing him around. It doesn't have to be tricks either. Well, no, 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 right. But at the same time, it wasn't it, uh, if I remember, like, he actually gets the cereal, whereas the Trix Rabbit never does. Yeah. Yeah, so, like, he, he actually eats the cereal, and then, like, the fucking kids, like, murder but, him. But the guy from Lucky Charms always does have the cereal. The kids never have it. Right, right, but like, I, I, I know. I felt like it was a combination of both, right? Like, uh, he wanted to get it? Uh, I, I, this, uh, it's been a week since I watched it. I need to watch it again, but... It, I don't know, but yeah, but so the kids kill him and slice open his stomach. Well, they don't kill him; they just slice open his stomach and eat his intro. <laughs> <but. laughs> 
fucking and, like whoa. And like, and like even make a reference to like, oh yeah, these commercials seem almost like improvised. And like at the end of the next one, he's just fucking laughing. Like you can tell, like they've just I, yeah, know, yeah. The, the narrator for the commercial like cracks up. <laughs> <laughs> it's fucking awesome. Go watch Rick and Morty. There's a new episode coming out tonight, right? Yeah, I believe so. All right, cool. I'll definitely be able to watch that. Uh, going back to more Get Hype news. Uh, so there is this movie that has been circling around the internet right now. Um, it's a two-minute short, like, Swedish horror film called Lights Out. Fuck. Huh. I watched it. I don't want to turn the lights out. It's, like, that's... It's two minutes long? Yeah, it's about two, two and a half, two forty, and it's fucking, like, creepy. It's done really well. This is how horror films, like, especially short indie films mm-hmm. this is how you do it i kind of want to take a break so like we can watch it right now um, no 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 because no. i if we are then i'm gonna watch it tonight like when it's no yeah i would i would just don't watch it with people i mean you can but at the same time try and watch it alone in the dark because it, it'll fucking is it freak the, you out their film challenge uh yeah yeah it's on vimeo right now it's okay. on vimeo. it's done okay. really well like okay. as far as like i'll bookmark it uh you know small budget kind of film oh. really good Freaking people the fuck out around the world. Um, I was to just go check it out. Called Lights Out. Um, cool. Another way to freak out my significant other. Oh, dude, dude. If she's in, if she's like, cause like for me, I like, I'll watch horror films, but I have an overactive imagination. Like I'll think in situations where it's like, like the problem is it's not like I know it's not gonna happen, but then my mind goes, but what if it did happen? Yeah. What would happen? What would I do? And then I overthink that shit and like. It freaks me out, especially like uh, like zombie movies. Like zombie movies freak me the fuck out because it's like that's more real than a lot of the other uh, other supernatural movies that come out. So that freaks me out all the time. And it's like, what if like I'm sleeping, all of a sudden a zombie apocalypse happens, and then I just start freaking out. <laughs> but yeah, this th- that film was really good. Or, or like uh, the the short film. Mm. Um, Eric, you saw a special trailer, didn't you? You saw a movie about a book from our childhood called The Giver. Oh, yeah. Man, I'm really excited for The Giver. I I am, too. The only thing that I could say about this trailer is that it's in color. It's in color! What the fuck is up? Yeah! They missed a very cool opportunity to make it start out in black and white and slowly fade to color. And maybe that's what they're doing and they just didn't want to give it away. Because in the trailer, because they cut scenes together, it might have looked right. weird. Right. Well, that, I mean, that, that's also the a big point of the film, it right? It is. Like, like the, the book itself, like, the cover is just black and white except for the, the red apple, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, like, it's... I mean, if they... I don't know, like, and, and they go into it, like, they go into the society, you can see, like, and they bring the mom character into it more than she appears in the book, and you can tell, like, there's this whole, like, like, the giver ends, like, if I remember the book, it ends very, like, weird, kind of like, you just see him, like, he dies, right? I think he dies at the end. Yes, yes. Oh, but in this one, it looks, it, it gets more to the conspiracy and taking down the organization more than, like, running away from it. Right, it's, right. But... Yeah, I don't know. It's just like I, I, I don't mind that because I understand like how they would need to incorporate some of that to make okay, it wait, wait, wait. better. Real quick though, I don't remember how did the the government take away the color or I don't I, I you know is, what? is that gonna be is that gonna be something in the movie? I don't know. I don't think they really explained it uh, in the book. I think they were maybe, just like I, I'm, I'm gonna say maybe that's the reason why they opted out of the whole color thing. May, maybe, but maybe. I mean, again, I think you're right. They missed a great opportunity to kind of make this. You know, uh, abstract movie. Yeah, yeah, they really did, and like maybe it's because it's American made, and I don't. Well, know. I don't discredit American made films. I, I think I just think it. They don't want to take chances. Well, uh, yeah, exa- yeah, exactly. I, American films are notoriously not abstract. They n- they are not. Well, it's because it doesn't well, sell. Like people exactly. Profit yeah, and I think exactly. that's that's the problem. I think that's where um, that's Hollywood. I was gonna say we give a lot of criticism to like, you know, oh, like, why do they make this kind of movie? It's just like dumb action commercial. It's because these big, you know, Hollywood uh, film companies, they have to turn a profit. Oh, it's their asses on the line. I, so I, you, they don't want to take too many chances, which is understandable. And it's like, I wish some of these movies could be better. Just a side note, I saw a statistic and it might have been Reddit again. But, uh-huh. um, but um, <laughs> apparently, right. apparently M. Night Shyamalan, Shama Babylon, Shama Babylon has turned a profit for every movie since The Sixth Sense. All his bad, fucking, terrible movies, he has gotten a profit off of every one of them. I would not how, doubt it. I would. They've been... Like, he's lost so much credit as a director. I don't know how he keeps making money, but he does. Because, well, again, like, After Earth, they didn't even market it on it, so, you know... Yeah, but how the fuck did that... That movie looked like it tanked. No one went to see it. I don't understand how it made money. I don't know. I don't know, man. This, this movie industry is fucking... <laughs> 
bad shit bonkers, man. But yeah, that's just, I'm sorry, that's just my side note. No, but I, I, eh, I don't know. Like, I, I'm, I'm excited for the Giver movie. Me too. Me too. I just, I hope, I, I like the actors. I like the actors they got for it. Okay, I, yeah, who, who's, who's the... Jeff Bridges and his... That's who it is. He's the Giver, right? Yeah. Brett, yeah, Jeff okay, yeah, 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 yeah. And then um, the chick from Batman, the first one, I think, is the mom in it. I forget who what her name is, but the chick. Oh, oh uh, not not Maggie Gyllenhaal. That was the second one, right? Yeah, the first one. The first. I know, I know who yeah. you're talking about. Like, yeah, I, think, I can yeah, see her I think in my she mind. She plays the mom. Okay. Oh. Uh, Preston, have you seen it or like have I've you read, never read it? You've never really? read it. Really? Oh, I had man. to read it for three separate class grades, like growing really? up. Really? Yeah, like that's how much I think I had to read it for like fifth. Sixth, I, I, and, like, I know. Eighth I know. Grade. I read it when I was at um at our old elementary school. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, I definitely read it there, and then I had to read it again for uh, middle school. Yeah, same here. And, how did you? How did you go through school not reading The Giver? That's like not reading a fucking how to uh, how to kill, uh, to kill a mockingbird. I n- no, I'm just kidding. I was gonna <laughs> say, man, you motherfucker. You never read To Kill a Mockingbird. I read actually read that one in community college. Read that. What? Yeah. You didn't go through high school and you never read, I read that To Kill in a Mockingbird. Grade. I read that in ninth grade. Oh. You know, it was actually for a, a, a film and fiction class. What you? Fucking That's so odd. Yeah. That's weird. What school what did the you? Fuck? What did you read in high school? Like, did you, what about, um, what about, uh, the uh, fucking, uh, what, uh, shit, the fly, fuck. Oh, uh, Lord of the Flies? Lord of the Flies, thank you. Okay, no. you did, you didn't read that either? No. You leave, what, did you learn anything in school? I don't remember. What, what about, I... like, Fahrenheit Okay, real, one? real quick, um, uh, b- before I forget it, there's supposed to be a, um, they're, they're gonna do Animal Farm. Did you ever read, like, Water for Chocolate? Yes. No. Yes, I, I did. I hated this book. <laughs> I haven't read that. Um, I still have it. So real quick, um, Andy Serkis, the guy who does, who plays uh, Gollum uh, in the Lord of the Rings, he also does Caesar. Uh-huh. Like I, okay, real quick, I want to gush about Andy Serkis. I love Andy Serkis. Mm, he is gush, a great. Girl, gush. <laughs> he is so good at portraying these characters that he just you know CGI's, which you know it's it's cool that, that that's kind of how he recognizes to bring fantasy characters to life, mm. but also he's. Um, He's a really good director. Oh. He, they actually gave him a second. He was the second unit director for uh, uh, the Hobbit. Oh, so that was cool. really cool. And he's actually oh. he was supposed to make his uh, directorial debut on Animal Farm, hmm. but uh, from what I heard, he's supposed to be doing another movie instead. That's going to come out first. I they don't are, remember making, what it was. I didn't know they were making an Animal Farm movie. Yeah, that he was he's oh. uh, he's attached as the director for is it. Is that CGI or is that? I'm animated? not 100 percent sure. All I know is that that he's going to be the the director for it. Interesting. And I'm gonna be hyped for it. Yeah, that sounds cool. And plus, it's Andy Serkis. I love Andy Serkis. He's oh. awesome. I really, I really did want him to get like nominated for something as far as like supporting actor. What's the name? I mean, Animal Farm was also Metamorphosis, right? What was the name of the guy who did? Uh, Kafka. Kafka. Kafka's oh. Kafka's Metamorphosis. Oh, Orwell did. Orwell did. Orwell did Animal Farm. Yeah. Oh, that's right. Yeah, they're not the same. 1984. That's yeah, right. yeah, that's right. I'm sorry. I'm getting my high school books. Mixed and up. they're all very controversial books, which yeah. I like. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But I, that's cool to see a resurgence of these uh these books that uh, are being made into movies. Watch your leg. Yeah. What else did I read? I, I'm trying to see if I had any other books from high school, but I guess I don't. Oh, I fucking loved Heart of Darkness. I um I was assigned Heart of Dark- Darkness. I didn't read it, but I got an What's A on my essay. What's wrong with you, man? Heart of it Darkness was, is amazing. It was I was I was too busy, and it was too like it's a short book, but it's very dense. Dude, in then its did, did you did you at least go to did you at least watch Apocalypse Now? I did. I didn't okay. watch Apocalypse Now. At least now, you watched that. <laughs> but I watched it after that class. Um, oh, okay. So what I did is, is I just fucking like skimmed the spark notes. And I wrote an essay and then I got like 100% on it. And she was just like, see, this guy knows the book. And I'm like, <laughs> yep, I sure do. Oh, man. I, I had uh, I had AP English. So like my yeah, professor. My, oh, I fucking love. My, my AP English teacher was probably my favorite teacher at high school. She's awesome. She cares so much about her students. But um, she knew when you used spark notes and shit. And... Like, she was just, like, really... Challenge accepted. Uh, she, she was just a really essay. good teacher. Um, yeah, books and movies, man. Books and movies. Um, <laughs> Bitches and hoes. Boats and, boats and hoes. <laughs> boats, boats, boats. I'll write my own book with blackjack and hookers. <laughs> you know what? Forget the book. <laughs> <laughs> Forget the book. And the blackjack. And the uh, hookers. I'll be alone. <laughs> Okay, um, I think it is time, gentlemen, to go Awa. into our time. Awa, Awa. 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 Ask us anything. Ooh. Who am I putting on the spot today? I'm putting Eric on the spot. Uh. Eric, if they want to give us a question to answer on the podcast, where can they ask it at? Well, um, you could put it on our official website. Uh, oh, wait, we don't have one. 
Um, you put it on our Vimeo. Oh, wait, we don't have one. Okay, dude, uh, come, come on. Come oh, get on, on our MySpace. Um, <laughs> yeah, 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 if you want to ask us questions, post it on our Facebook at uh, EPC Nerd, Facebook.com slash EPC Nerd, um, or on our Twitter, which is Twitter.com slash EPC Nerdcast, I yes. believe. Yep. Um, or at EPC Nerdcast. At EPC Nerdcast. And uh, yeah, and be, our, be our fourth follower. Well, we have three followers now? We have three! Yay! I'm, I'm one of them, so we have two. Two <laughs> Yay! Oh, Patrick, I miss you. Carrie, welcome aboard. We're actually very happy it's to have you. It's all about Patrick. We Patrick, can't wait Patrick, to have you Patrick. On the show, Carrie, because you're going to be our fourth guest and you're going to do a great job. She cute. I don't know. Huh. Anyways, we're going to go into our <laughs> first question while they molest the microphone. Uh, our friend Dylan actually wanted us to ask a question on this. Um, this is more of a serious topic for us, or maybe not too serious, but guys, uh, what do you guys think about achievements in video games? Uh, eh. Um, you know, I don't fucking, I, I nothing them. You nothing them? Like, yeah. like, do you do achievements at all? Yeah, you know, I don't try to get them. Like, I don't see the point in them. I feel like, it's like, it's like how you guys feel about EV training, you know? It's like, it, it kind of brings the fun out of the game. Like, why, just play the game, kind of thing. What about you? Uh, I Preston? would have to disagree, because, um... Uh, you know, achievements, people can love them, people can hate them. I don't, yeah, I'm like, I nothing them. But at the same time, I like the idea of them. I wish that the Xbox community is huge behind the achievements, like yeah. the achievement points. Okay, so here is the thing I, that I've been hearing. The problem with that is that the Xbox community, you're right, is really like achievement points driven. There are achievements that are just like, you you you, you really do become addicted to them. I know people that like, all, that's all they do is they need to like a hundred percent things like Dylan. He he has to get every achievement and it's it's just to get a bigger e peen. Like well, there is no it, like and it's and it's dumb task sometimes. Like the original Rid the, the original Riddler uh, challenges and, and riddles in in the original Arkham Asylum they were all right, but then you just get so many of them in City and in Origins that it's just like man, it really just is to increase your fucking e peen. Well, like. And Ultimately, I just wish that the gamer score, which you eventually accumulate, actually went towards something. Like, yeah, you know, again, you get, like, it's you get like special like thinking. avatar like outfits, or even like what would have been really cool for Xbox Live if if you got a high enough um, a, a high enough gamer score where that, that could be applied as a credit towards the store, and you mm. buy more games with that. That I think that would have been an ingenious marketing thing because that would have kept people buying more and more games and earning more and more achievements. I feel like that, that there is something in place for that, but I'm not 100 percent sure. For um, what? I don't know. I, I thought I heard something, but uh, I'm not. I can, I can be tripping. Player, you know? Um, but I don't know. I I don't like achievements. Like some of them are done well, where it doesn't even contribute to your gamer score. It is for you to challenge yourself in games. Mm -hmm. But it's when you just load a shitload of achievements. Like the fucking worst ones is like you started up the game. That's it's fucking stupid. That's not an achievement. <laughs> first kill. It's a shooting game. Of course I'm going to Yeah, it's my fucking like those are like, dumb. Yeah. Like it's it also kind of just feels like when you have like the Arkham City ones where mm. it's just a shitload of them. It feels like you, you there's like a thousand or something like that. Like you could have taken out half of those and put that more towards a story or to something else. It feels like you're copping out on a game. Eh, like you're, I... you're you're artificially extending the life of the game where you could have done that more with either the narrative or have like, you know, different aspects of the game. Where where whereas just doing achievements and stuff, it's like eh, you're kind of padding it to me. Uh, I I don't know. I mean, it achievements mean different things to different people. I mean, yeah, right. Like 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 again, to Dylan, like he he has to hundred percent things. He has to try and get every achievement, like it, or you you know, it, unless it like frustrates him to the point where it's like not even fun anymore. Yeah, I get that. Yeah, I I get that. I fucking it's just. One of those things that's like, oh, I got an achievement, great, I'm gonna fucking keep going. Right, like, Steam, yeah. Steam achievements, I don't care. But I, you know, every once in a while, I'll do, like, looking back and be like, oh, look, I actually did that. Good for me. <laughs> <laughs> uh, like, just, some of the achievements are, are dumb, though. Yeah. There, there was one, um, oh, what game was it, where if you die multiple times, you get an achievement for it. It's like a loser achievement. I don't, I don't remember I don't what game it they, was. They have a whole bunch of those. Yeah, yeah. probably one of those with Call of Duty, like, could imagine. Probably. I know they have that for like Dark Souls. They have that for Hotline Miami. You die a certain number of times. Oh, Hotline Miami, yeah. Mm. Probably for uh, Portal 2. Uh, you keep like falling in the water. There's probably like something like that. I don't know. Yeah. Okay, well, let me go on to a little bit more lighthearted and fun subject. All right, Nick asks All right, guys, here's the situation. 
You lose a limb slash body part. How do you lose it, and what do you replace it with? Do How not do say I... penis. I was gonna say penis, <laughs> but... <laughs> Um, how do I lose it? Well, I lose it in surgery where I'm fucking under the knife and I don't feel Wait, it. Wait, what do you lose though? Um, I guess I, I'll lose a, I'll lose my leg, like under the knee. Okay, okay. Um, I guess I will, wait, can I replace it with anything? Like, Yeah, replace imagine? it with anything, yeah. Ah, oh, fuck. Um, alright. Fuck. I, um, I guess I replace my ass with a, <laughs> with a black guy ass. What? That's what you go with? Like. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> There's that Scrubs episode where, um, where like JD and Turk are talking about like what they would want from each other, and then JD's like, like goes into his head, and he, and he's just like, oh, you know, and goes into his head in his thought world, and Turk's like, hey man, why do you even need my ass? And then JD turns around, and is like, I'm building something. And Turk's like, what are you building? And then JD just goes, a brick. House, <laughs> it's my, it's my day. and then all the girls in the like in the hospital just start dancing with him. And it's like, that's what I want. Fucking Scrubs, I missed the train on Scrubs. Me yeah. too. Scrubs is awesome. Sorry about the clap, everyone. I think that probably burst your ears. It probably woke him up. <laughs> Honestly, <laughs> I'll fucking when I'm listening to this, I'll fucking ed- I'll tone it down. Uh, well, what I would want to do is if uh, if I lost a limb, uh, I kind of have two two things. One, if I lost an arm. Uh, fucking replace that. Oh, how would I lose it? Um, Sharknado. <laughs> Losing a Sharknado, Sharknado attack. They rip my arm off and you replace it with a bionic arm. Or a Mega Buster. Either one. A Mega Buster would be nice. That'd be fucking cool. Charge that shit up. <laughs> do, 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 do. Hmm. Uh, and then, uh, that, that, that'd that be the cop-out one. I think that's a little too easy. Uh, if I, if I lost an eye, like, uh, um, I got kicked so hard in the head, like, my eyeball flew out. Uh, why these? That... Why these violent ways? Why don't you just? Because it's badass. But <laughs> if I'm gonna lose something, it's gonna be badass. How about this bear attack? <laughs> bear attack. Bear grills attack. I lost it to bear grills. Okay. <laughs> bear grills just comes out and and drinks his pee and then punches my eye out. You're already losing your pancreas. What? Oh. What the fuck? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Anyways, I think I would replace it with uh, the solid eye from Metal Gear Solid. That shit's tight. Plus, I get to wear a really cool eye patch. I actually fuck. know a guy with an eye patch. He's really cool. Badass man. Um, fuck. I would probably. I would want to lose my finger and then replace it with a bionic finger that shoots out water. And I can just go. Bah! <laughs> Little water gun at any time. It, 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 was like, <laughs> it, it looks like it's gonna be the most badass like thing ever, and it just shoots water. Yeah, just. Yeah. <laughs> You'd be an amazing gardener. <laughs> Thank you. I'm just gonna water the plants. <laughs> on my own hose. And then I think it's gonna be a penis joke, and then. Pff, my, <laughs> I make my all finger. the girls wet. Uh, Preston, what about you, man? I would replace my facial hair with chocolate shavings. How would you lose <gasps> your facial hair? I would lick you so much. Yes. <laughs> yeah. I mean, how, how, how would you lose it? I don't know. I, I, I It would just. Oh, yeah. I would. Maybe, maybe when I shave it, falls from the body, it just turns into chocolate shavings. And I would lose my finger um, by a fucking snap turtle snapping pinata. turtle snapping turtle pinata, snapping turtle pinata. <laughs> i hit a pinata full of snapping turtle got my why wouldn't it. anybody do this <laughs> what pinata. sort of god would let this thing happen <laughs> <laughs> that's why you never trust a pinata not at a mexican gathering because no one knows how to do it the fuck is in a russian pinata <laughs> Vodka. <laughs> <laughs> I think we're all thinking it. If you can tell at home, that was a high five. That was a high. That was a high the five. highest of fives. The highest of fives. That was a Taylor Leach high five. <laughs> that, was a, that, was, that was a. That was a very. That was a, we were in sync right there. Yep. I was Love thinking it. it too. I just didn't say it. <laughs> oh man, Pin- what would pinatas like? From from Germ oh let's not answer that. I would say what would pinata from Germany be filled with? Um, you don't want to know. I you know what? Go, <laughs> staying away from the Nazi joke. I would say strudel. Well, I was gonna say shiza bitty. <laughs> just a bunch of shiza. <laughs> mm. <laughs> Japan would be just a bunch of like like girls underwear. Yeah, I was gonna <laughs> say they're just filled with schoolgirls. <laughs> Tiny yeah, school girls. that's cute. <laughs> oh, that that's. <laughs> Somebody out there will understand me. You did that almost too well. I'm kind of terrified now. Well, it's it's kind of in my blood. <laughs> <laughs> he is wearing a skirt right now. Little school girl uniform. For those at home, he's wearing a skirt. <laughs> yeah, man. Okay, uh, I'm gonna yeah. stop with that. That's creepy. Um, one final question uh, comes from Kelly 
who asks, uh, what is your guys' ideal final boss character? Uh, are we talking about our favorite from a different video? From a video okay, you know what? Let's just preface this. What's a pre- what's a what, like? What's a favorite? And then, what do you think would be a good final boss? Hmm. Like, like say, let's uh, let's go with like you know either adventure game or RPG or whatever. There um, have been too many games where it comes to the final boss, and either like you grinded too much or something, but it's just it's too easy. Like I had that issue with Borderlands. Huh. It was supposed to be like an epic fight at the very end in front of the vault, and but you're too high level. It was level. too easy. It was uh, far too easy. Mm. I have take fucking. You'll get this later. Pokemon X and Y, the Elite Four, were so incredibly easy. It was ridiculous. That's true. They were pretty easy. Like, cause but with, but let me just say though, the this was the coolest like get to the Elite Four that I've seen, where you get the different rooms. Oh yeah, definitely. That was really cool. Yeah, de- yeah. Oh, really well made. But because of the XP share, you're so high level. Oh right. Just, well, the, oh, then, then you just turn, I turn XP mine share. off immediately. Oh, that's I a good way to use XP share. Yeah, that's, that's good. a good way that's to good use way it. It, it yeah. makes things boring if you don't. I'm just using it now because, like, I'm just building second team. Oh. But uh, but I, I think, get away from, like, difficulty. But I mean, like, just like how I was explaining, like, the lead up to the Elite Four where you're going to the different rooms. Like, that's real. That's a really cool way to do that. Um, another thing, like, uh, uh, like a cool lead up to the boss where you're, like, scaling an entire fortress. That's really cool. Uh, Preston, you got something? I got to go with Kingdom Hearts 2. The well, you didn't yeah. like the boss? No, 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 no. I no, love it. Oh, yeah, the me boss. too. The, the ending was, was like cool. so many different segments. And did you cool. know that there was going to be two more segments to that fight? Were there really? There was one where he's going to be the size of a fucking city. Like, wow. I've never I've never really felt the immensity of a boss fight uh-huh. until oh, that. Oh, that's gets, a good like, one. So, you know what? Actually, let, let me ask you. Oh, um, man. Do, do you guys prefer a giant, huge final boss or a boss of similar size to you? Because I personally like like a rival boss where they're similar size similar like like you know fighting levels where oh. it's, it's like a one-on-one fight um like um or you know what like even like even if the boss is like slightly bigger than you like i love the wind waker final boss fight with ganondorf i like that's really cool i would prefer to have a big boss mm-hmm. and then the your size boss because just a big boss just well, seems well, much the, more I, I would say like like final final boss like the last person you find in the game then i guess grandy well I would want it to be the same size if I could have that big boss right before. I think I would, if I could have one or the other, I think I would go the, with the big boss though because it just, it feels bigger. I like was thinking just... the exact same thing just now. I was um, reminding myself of Chrono Trigger where mm. you, you fight, oh, with you fight the, the um, lot, lot toast yeah. or something. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. You, you fight like the outer shell, which is, you think it's supposed to be the big boss, but then you go inside and it's that small alien thingy. Hmm. And I always felt a little like even though the alien thing was obviously harder. Well, I, I, I think I think for RPG it. that's I, I think for a turn based RPG that's a little like that's like and eh, that's not as cool as like a huge boss. But I think for me because I play a lot of like character action and stuff, there's a lot more skill involved when you're fighting somebody one on one. It's a rival battle. Like I think that's really cool. Like um like at the very because the very 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 final boss of uh, Kingdom Hearts two. It's a one on one. It's not like the gigantic boss. Yeah, that's true. Uh, I think it, it like it depends on the genre. Um, like uh, Shadow of the Colossus, man. Have I you got, really need to. Play you it. need to play that game. It's one of the best games, and they're making a movie for it. They're making a movie. They okay. They've been in talks for a while. Um, they've also been saying that they're gonna be dumbing it down instead of like you know a shitload of Colossi. It's gonna be maybe three or four, which you know I mean and that's, I, okay. and that's understandable. As long as they do it right, but. Man, that is one of the best games. That is how you do a giant final boss battle. Mm. Like, I mean, I mean, technically they're all kind of giant final bosses, but like, mm. though, like that is. So, guys, we kind of fucked up and we lost the uh, the, the SD card. It kind of got full. Yeah, but, uh... fucking, I forgot to format it after I deleted everything off of it. So now it's like it thinks it only, it thought it only had two gigabytes left when really it's it's empty. But fucking cards, what are you gonna do? Yeah, Preston is just taking pictures of us on his iPhone. <laughs> um, so we're just going to end this real quick with uh, the Twitch Plays Pokemon update and the Steam Watch. Uh, who's been watching Twitch Plays Pokemon? Ah, uh, yeah, well, kind of. There's been, there's, been, <laughs> there's been more viewers. There's been a lot more viewers now. It kind of rebounded. Yeah, to yeah. wait in the week definitely helped out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I mean, it's not like it's not definitely not up to where it was, but it's back to like 11, 15,000. It's gone away from that whole God narrative, too. Like, yeah. It's, it's something uniquely its own. I've seen, I saw a really cool picture of like comparing it to like Batman villains, where like uh, uh, Raza Ghoul in Batman Begins was all about like the old ways, and that's how like. Red was with Helix and the old god, and then um, Gold is a lot like Bane, where it's just like, oh, fuck the old ways, you know, let's just make, you know, let's go against the old ways and let's, like, new order. Uh-huh. And then the whole thing going with May 
is like just chaos because May or, or now she's A. I love the picture. <laughs> My name's May. The M is silent because they named her A. Mm -hmm. So, uh, God, what was I talking about? Oh yeah. So, so yeah. So she's all about like chaos and just, just no gods, no rules, just anarchy everywhere. So she's like Joker then. Yeah, exactly. She's like Joker. Kind of like, yeah. They, they I, originally they pawned her off as a pyromaniac, but then she stopped using her torchic and started using um, Meryl. Yeah, so. yeah, like Tracy from uh, the uh, in the Orange Islands. Yeah, so. fucking Tracy naked. Anybody watch Pokemon a Bridge? Cause that's, oh, you need to watch Pokemon a Bridge, I dude. Do. I really do. It's really good. Like I would say that's on par with like DBZ a Bridge, but more stupid. People have told me that about Yu Gi Oh, and I hate the Yu Gi Oh. No, Yu Gi Oh a Bridge is okay. Hate but, America. No, America. but I I would say, dude, watch um. Watch Pokemon Abridged and DBZ Abridged. Yeah. And if you want, um, uh, One Piece Abridged too. That was and really good. The, and the one and only, uh, fucking Attack on Titan Abridged. Yes, really but funny. that's two four stars. There's so. only one of them? There's only, they've only done one. Well, it got copyrighted. They did. Yeah, so that's why it's only on their website. Oh. So, yeah, which by the way, the team four star website has been updated. You guys should go check it out. It's pretty cute. Um, oh, hey, it's pretty cute. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Go check it out, guys. Uh, are you, fo let's see you here. focus on yourself or are you out of focus? Right I don't care. He's totally doing a selfie on himself right now. <laughs> um, let's see here. The last thing, uh, Steam Watch. Anybody Steam Watch? Uh, nothing going on until summer. Well, no, Bioshock, Bioshock Infinite was on for like seven fifty. Payday 2 was like cut in half, I think. Oh, Payday 2 had a free weekend. It did. Oh, cool. yeah. yeah. And it yeah. was also on sale. So, yeah. I like how they do those free weekends. I mean, they're obviously a marketing gimmick, but still, it's cool to try it out. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so so nothing much going on Steam right now. I figured yeah. that we'd check in. What the fuck uh, is the bottom of my? I have a little sticker. Oh, oh I have oh, a little, been there forever. Little fruit sticker. Ew. Put that back. Cause you're a fruit. Sorry. Okay, so who does Blank want to kick in the balls this week? Podcast. The podcast kicked me in the balls because I fucked up the audio. Okay, so who does the podcast want to kick in the balls this week? Eric. Eric. Because he's a dumbass. Sorry. Straight to the balls. Sorry. Straight okay. to the balls. Straight to the Don't balls. Don't actually do it. Don't actually do it. Sorry for the, all the people watching. That it's must a, have been really weird to watch. It's such an abusive relationship, you two. <laughs> I'm going to take off my glasses. I'm going to look you dead in the eye. I'm going to tell you how sorry I am and how important I think you guys are to me. And I just want you to know, you know, I'm just I'm so attracted to you. And I really, you know, I really, I never want to displease you. I want to make you happy because I love you. Anyways, we're we're gonna move on to what's going on next week. Um, Probably Kill Kill Cosmos. Kill a Kill finale. Oh, you and I will splooge over that, Eric. Yep, yep, yep. yep. Splooge all over. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and then I'll just sit here awkwardly as they splooge at you. It, you'll just you'll just get it in the face. It'll just like wash over you. Oh, oh. Uh. God damn it. Uh, anything coming up for you guys besides uh, this you podcast? Know, just think about it. We could have, we didn't have to use the video. We could just play the camera and I could just cut out the video and we'd just use the bad audio. Yeah, but the video's pretty cool. Okay. Yeah. Because it's kind of an apology to people who are watching because we fucked Sorry, out. guys. That's why we're kicking me in the balls this week. I'm sorry, Patrick. <laughs> and Carrie. I'm sorry, Carrie. <laughs> but Patrick. Hopefully see you next week. Um, yeah, next week, uh, we're gonna have spring break, so we'll probably have some cool stories, um, mm -hmm. and spring we may break. have, we may have a special, uh, guest, who we've been, like, not really making it so secret, so. Somebody should street pass me. Street pass him. Street pass me. Alright, we'll see you guys next week. Bye, guys. Street